Please. Running order is going to be Bryson one, Maddie two, Bentley three, Miley four, Anthony five, Franklin six, Lane seven, Max eight, and Tyler nine. I only have two people back to back in this round. That's going to be Max Stewart and Petrella. So those are the only two people back to back. I do have a couple guys that are race, Marshall race. That's okay, just do the best you can. We should have plenty of marshals in some of these larger races. Still need a check from Bentley and from Max. No check from Bentley or Max. Once again, it's Bryson number one, Mandy two, or Mandy two, Bentley three, Miley four, Anthony five, Franklin six, Lane seven, Max eight, and Tyler nine. All right, I have a full field of marshals and I have a full grid of cars. 16U, let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. And let's clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready, drivers ready, down or quiet, race. One forty five down, eight fifteen to go. It's Tyler Melton out front. Tyler Melton in the AE ride going over that left side double. Coming on up and over the speed double. Gonna air it out on the sky double. Now gonna hit the moguls into the one eighty. Gonna jump into the dog leg. Oh, it gets it to a little bit of fluff. That's all right. Gets it back turning the right way. And you've got Lane Dimming. Tell you what, the Lane brothers, or the Dimming brothers, excuse me, the Dimming brothers have been on a tear the last couple races. Both of these, both these guys are extremely fast. Both of them are also extremely young, so these guys just now getting a handle on it, and man, have they improved drastically every time we see them. Anthony Long, Franklin Radcliffe, and Lane Deming now, along with Miley, is there's a four-way battle for second. I believe some of those cars coming up on that center double. They will more than likely get spread out as the clock continues to run. There's Miley and Lane 
Going into the quad now at second and third. 3.30 down, 6.30 left to go. Race number two, race number two, Sportsman E-Buggy. You guys are up next. Four and a half down, five and a half to go. Tyler Milton still leading the way with Miley McKellick in the number two spot. Oh, now it's Lane Deming. Looks like Miley might have had a long, time, long lap that time around. And Miley and Franklin now the battle for third. Coming out of the quad. The future of RC right here. Some would argue the current of RC right now because some of these kids, man, you're just ballistic fast. For all we know, we could be seeing the next Ryan Mayfield or Ryan Cavallari in this lineup. I want to thank all of our sponsors once again. Beach RC, Brent, Brent and Lucas down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They do a fantastic job. Mobile hobby shop, uh, brick and mortar hobby shop, online hobby shop. They just about need a hobby shop on the sea and then I think they'll have everything covered. One in the sea, one in the air. They do sell boats and they do sell drones as well. So if you don't want to have a I have a car, I have a couple different options. The RC industry is an ever expanding industry. Also want to thank our local Charlotte businesses, the local scoop, Ameriprise Financial, Queen City Grafton Gourmet, and Queen City Jiu Jitsu, along with SRS, Clean Freak, Pro Circuit, Ultimate Racing, Assault RC, JQ Racing, Mod Media and Matt Olson Designs, as well as Owings Metal Art. Also, a big thanks to CNS Auto. We have the CNS Auto Garage down there at the end of the driver's stand. Coming up on three minutes left to go. Drivers, three minutes left to go. Two thirty left to go. It's Melton out front, Deming second, Radcliffe third, Long fourth, McKellick fifth, Bringle six, Long seventh, Stewart eight, and Winkle nine. This is race number one, race number two, Sportsman E-Buggy. You guys should be in staging.
120 left to go for Tyler Melton, your leader. Race number two, Charlie Lay, Gary Fletcher, Nathan Stumpf, Chris Heath, Drew Halverson, Arnie Brown, Stacy Long, Joseph Williams, Max Stewart, Aubrey Evanchick, and Logan Spielock. You guys are up next. And girl. Thirty-five seconds left to go. Fifteen seconds. Race clock has expired and you cross the line, you will be done. Tyler, you're done. Got you right at the line. Bryson, you're done. Miley's done. Still got several more to finish. Lane is done. Anthony's done. I believe that's everyone. Everyone is, well, we got one more, one more finishing. And Franklin's done, that is the race. All right, all my drivers from race number one. Back out to the track to Marshall. I'm gonna need a couple volunteers. I'm gonna need my parents, friends and family of our 16U drivers to help us marshal. Or get a little bit of rest, and he's going to help out on the camera. So once we get uh, everybody out there to marshal from the last one, you guys, uh, we're still waiting on some marshals. We need some people in the back. We won't release them until marshals are out there. Thank you, thank you. We need one more on the back end. It looks like I think we got two marshals here in the center. Are you guys marshalling right there? You guys marshals? Okay, cool. That looks like we got a little dude on the back. All right, guys, you can release them. You can release them. You get a lap. You get a lap. Get them all checked in here. Once you pass that orange line down there, you're going to get them all lined up. There is 12 of you guys. Car number one is Charlie Lay. Car number two is Gary Fletcher. Car number three is Nathan Stump. Car number four is Chris Heath. Car number six is Drew Halverson. Car number seven is Arnie Brown. Car number eight is Stacy Long. Car number nine is Joseph Williams. Car number 10 is Max Stewart. And car number 11 is... Aubrey Enchik and car number 12, Logan Spillock. 
So get them uh, lined up. So number one is Charlie, two, Gary, three, Nathan, four, Chris. Fifth is Drew, six is Arnie, seven is Stacy, eight is Joseph, nine is Max, 10 is Aubrey, and 11 is Logan. Looks like you guys know your names, know where you're starting, and uh, we'll just about get this guy going. So we got them all lined up. Looks like he's gonna start in the back. All right, guys, on the sound. Oh, we got it. We need somebody on the back uh, left-hand corner over there. Somebody in the back left-hand corner. Can we get somebody on the right-hand side? We got somebody? All right, we got a Marshall. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, on the sound of the tone. We got the yellow and white buggy of Charlie Lay taking the first whole shot lead up over the double and a gaggle of cars behind him as they, oh, and taking over. Whoever the blue car is, baby blue on the back left-hand corner going over the speed double and over the high-flying double as we have Charlie following him in pursuit. Top, th top four are all bunched up as we go onto the right-hand side up over the dog leg coming on down on the right hand and onto the straightaway. And that will be Nathan Stump in the lead, followed closely by Charlie Lay. Make sure you guys make it clean. We will call, we will call uh, rough driving for you. So top three kind of breaking out, getting a little bit sketchy after that double, that high speed double. I know it's a little bit weird because it sends you off to the right hand side and then you have to immediately go into a big step up double. That's kind of a lob double. It's pretty easy to make if you have if you have the speed and you're carrying the speed. So we got a we got a battle on the right hand side between Nathan and Joseph Williams as they come on the right hand side down the straightaway with the baby blue. It looks like a TLR. I want to say two a TLR and a techno. It could be two technos, but I know one's a techno. I don't know what the other one is. It looks like a TLR. As they go on the left-hand side here, up over the speed double, got a little bit of traffic ahead of them. Oh, barely missing them. And you're good to go. Oh, little shortcut, no harm, no foul. As he comes up over the, over the back end double, onto the right-hand side. And that is your closest battle right now as we head down the straightaway between Nathan Stump and Joseph Williams. Everything this weekend is heads up racing, guys. So everybody is not on their own clock. They are facing up against each other. It is the best two out of three. So you guys, if you guys break, something happens to you, no issues. You have one more run to make sure that you're dialed in for the next one. So both back over the double and coming in a little bit of traffic. Uh, blue, red, thank you. Letting your leaders by onto the back dog leg over there, and they come over to the single and onto the straightaway for your two and three of between Joseph and Nathan. Both taking the single double route through there. I'm sure they can also do the double double if they go wide. Going over the double and another double, and it looks like Nathan wanting to wanting to get that back from Joseph as they go over the high flying double. Oh, and he just comes up a bit short, trying to track him down. And right now, Joseph wants to get going and gone and set his sights on Charlie as Charlie has, uh, he's out there in the middle there and he's just chilling. He's putting in good solid laps while these two are battling. Oh, and it looks like Nathan ended up biffing it a little bit at the end of the straightaway. So we got our camera guy. Camera guy, it's going to be, which one is it? The red and white, where is he? Oh, where, there he is, right there down the straightaway. That is your leader going up over the quad section, doing the single, double, single as well. Oh, that is your lap traffic. Thank you for the orange and yellow O in the center. And he gets by with ease for your leader of Charlie Lay, followed by Joseph, Williams, Nathan, Chris, Aubrey, Arnie, Max, Drew, Stacy, Gary, and rounding out your 11 is Logan. Doesn't look like Logan started though. So we go on to the straightaway now for your leader, Charlie Lay. It doesn't look like anything's really happened in the second place position. I don't even know, actually, where did second place go? 
Oh, there we go. Joseph Williams down the straightaway right now, coming up over the double-double section in the center, the quad section, as we are following your leader right now. Charlie Lay up over the high-flying double in the red and white. I want to... All the cars look the same these days, guys, and there's no stickers on it, so I don't know exactly what it is. Let me see if I could tell by the shock towers. Nope. It's probably, maybe a techno. I think it might be a techno. As he comes up over the double-double, another double, and the, one of the hardest, nice little whip action over there. Lands it a little bit short as he comes up over the speed and the high-flying double with ease in that electric buggy as they come over. This is your Sportsman E-Buggy class. There is three heats of these guys total, and um, they have their work cut out for them because all these are not only the points that you get in this specific round, but it also depends on your overall points. So to be number one spot, you have to be the best of the best. So as we have now, on the, I don't know where we are. Where's second place? Okay, there's Baby Blue right there. I think that's Nathan right there. So Nathan Stubb coming up over. He is in third place. Let's see if we can find second place. Second place is coming on the right hand side by the dog leg, the yellow and the white coming down the straightaway right now. That is your second place driver, Joseph Williams, as he's doing the double-double. Coming up over another double. This track is all doubles, I'm telling you. Anthony Westergaard likes the doubles. High flying double right there for Joseph Williams as he's coming around in that Techno EB48. And they've got like a couple versions of them. So I'm gonna just go with EB48 as he comes down the straightaway right now for your second place driver. So we're still, we're rounding down here, guys. Three, still 3.30 left to go. 3.30 left to go for everybody out there. As your running order is Charlie Lay, Joseph Williams, Nathan, Chris, Aubrey in fifth, sixth, Arnie, Max, Drew, Stacy, Gary, and Logan not making it out there. as we are getting around here with you guys. Let's catch up with your leader. Going back over the back double, coming on over to the right hand double and going around the dog leg right now for your leader, Charlie Lay. As he should be coming from what our live RC is telling us. Yes, perfect. Running solid laps right now. Charlie Lay with his fastest lap two laps ago with a 32.5, very, very quick. So just to kind of take some super consistent laps, he had 34, 33, 35, 32, 35, 33, 33, 32. So Charlie very, very consistent out there. Top three consecutive, one minute and 38, followed by Joseph's one minute and 41. That means that he's about a second faster a lap over three laps and he comparatively to his closest competition of Joseph. But that's not to say that he's gonna be the fastest out there because of the fact that he has two other heats to contend with for Charlie Lay. As he's going over the back double there, around left hand corner, back over the right hand double and he's gonna be starting us off onto the straightaway once again for Charlie Lay. Right there, Aubrey right by him in the pink buggy, going the single double route for Aubrey. Nice and clean, looks like everybody's playing nice with each other out there, we like to see that. Definitely a little driver courtesy goes a long way. And the baby blue, I don't know if, he's get, if he got lap, let me see if he got, yeah, it looks like Looks like Nathan Stump has gone down a lap to Charlie Lay. So that means that Joseph Williams is the only one still on the lead lap. And just as I say that, Joseph is upside down and your leader's right behind him in the quad section. 
and he lets him by. Thank you very much, Joseph. That was very courteous of you. As they go over the back double. So your leader, Charlie Lay, has lapped the field. And I'm thinking right now that Charlie Lay needs to be in the expert e-buggy class. As I'm looking, that he is a lap ahead of everybody. Or just everybody's crashing. But he is in a class of his own right now. As he comes down the straightaway, up over the hump. Making it look easy with that red and white buggy up over the double-double section. We have 17 seconds left to go, guys. 17 seconds left to go. And as we're rounding it out here, guys, two, one. And once you pass the finish line, I think Max made it by. Max did make it by. But the rest of you guys, so Charlie Lay, you are done. Gary, you are done. When you pass the finish line, you are going to be finished, guys. You will be finished when you cross the finish line. Still waiting on a couple as they round out that back right-hand side there. And we're still waiting on, there we go, Max just, and it looks like Logan is done as well. So we will finish that race there with Charlie Lay, Joseph, and Nathan, Chris, Aubrey, Arnie, Max, Drew, Stacy, Gary, and Logan. We will go into your next heat, which is, I believe, your second heat of Sportsman E-Buggy. And get you guys started off. So Marshalls, make sure you get on out there. Thank you. Dennis Allison, Brandon Sisk, Matt King, I'm, I'm, I'm just here. Is that who's that trying to mess you up? Sean Matt? Williams. Huh? Is that who's that trying to mess you up? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think it's. I don't think it's just going to hear that. Right. All right, guys, everybody from race number two, back out to Marshall. Race number three, hold them in the stage, and big thanks to Matt for covering that one for me. A couple more of you guys over on the left side of the track. They are making their way there. Race number three, go ahead and roll them out one lap, one lap only. Get a couple more marshals on the left side of the track. Got one over in the quad. Let's go ahead and line them up. It's going to be Sean Mullins, number one, Thompson, two, Norman, three, Anderson, four, Allison, five, Deming, six, Sist, seven, King, eight, High, nine, Stevens, ten, Matula, eleven, Talent, twelve, and Schroeder, thirteen. I need Ryder, Trotter, and Ryder, Trotter only to cross the line for me. All right, got your rider. All right, looks like we have a lineup, and I have marshals. Guys, just my, my two marshals right here just kind of be uh, visual right here. I don't have anybody in that corner, but I think we'll be okay. All right, here we go. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. Uh, 
Got several over in that center double center section. That center section, caution right there in between the two doubles. It's clear. I don't think that yellow buggy could have flipped any more than that. Justin Norman going to lead him around for the first lap, followed by Scott Anderson, Ryder Trotter, Dennis Allison, and Sean Mullins, your top five. The battle between Justin Norman and Scott Anderson going over the left side double, now going over the speed double. Oh, and it looks like Scott Long darts it over the speed double. Need a little more speed. A couple of these guys, if you take that double on the outside, I guess you would on the, the left of part of the lane, it kind of kicks you up and out a little bit farther. If you take it on the right side, kind of towards the inside, towards the driver's stand, it shoots you more outward and not as far up. So if you have enough speed, you can take it on the right side, kind of more on the inside line. But really, you want to make sure you get over it. So taking a little bit on the outside actually sets you up a little bit better for that big step up double. That way you can come off of it making that right hand turn. These guys figuring it out. 8.15 left to go in this one. Justin Norman leading the way with Ryder Trotter second, Dennis Allison third, Scott Anderson fourth, Mullins, Stevens, High, Talent, Sis, Matula, Deming, King, and Thompson finish out the top 13. We have found a hotel key for Sleep Inn. We have found a hotel key. It is in the envelope that the hotel gives you for sleep in. It is at timing and scoring. Six twenty left to go. Justin Norman out front. Dennis Allison, Ryder Trotter, and Scott Anderson right now in the battle for second. We're going to find that on the track. It's one of these cars that are about to come in that right side double. We'll see when they hit the loop. I'm still learning most of the paint schemes this weekend. There's Justin Norman across the line. That's your first place car. There's Ryder. And Scott, so the battle between the yellow and black and the white and dark gray going over that center double and over that kind of corner double. And that's Ryder Trotter in the black and yellow, black and yellow coming over the right side double. I don't know, we are live. Can I say black and yellow? Is that copyrighted? I hope not. <laughs> Matt said, you can't copyright colors. Five down, five to go, five down, five to go for race number three. Race number four, Sportsman E-Buggy, heat number three, 
You guys are up next. That'll be race number four, heat number three of Sportsman. Right now, Charlie Lay, he had an 18-10-03 pace at last time by. And Justin Norman on an 18-10-21. So the top guys are pretty close as far as time goes. But looks like uh, Charlie Lay might get the uh, better time this time around. Before 15 left to go. It's Justin Norman out front. Ryder Trotter second. Scott Anderson third. The tight battle between Trotter and Anderson. And you have Allison fourth. Talent fifth, Steven sixth, Mullen seven, Matula eight, Demings nine, High tenth, King eleventh, Thompson twelfth, and feels like Brandon Sist having to retire early. Once again, if you have not checked out Mom's Birdhouse, behind the driver's stand all the way to the right, you can't miss it. They have all kinds of great stuff to eat. Ate there several times at Summer Sizzler. They've got wraps. They've got steak and cheese sandwiches. They've got snacks. They've got candy, they've got cotton candy, nachos, fried pickles, you name it. Check out Mom's Birdhouse. They'll, they'll be here until seven. And then it looks like they will also be here tomorrow for lunch. Two and a half left to go in this one. Eight down, two to go. One in the end of the straightaway. The battle right now between Stevens, Trotter, and Allison for second. Well, 145 left to go. They should be coming around, hitting the line here in just a moment. I believe that's these three cars coming across the loop. There's Dennis and Ryder. So the all white car and then the black and yellow car. The all blue car with the yellow wing, that's Lane Deming. He's in seventh right now. It looks like maybe Dennis with a slight bobble. That's gonna let Ryder catch up to him. So the battle for second, 115 left to go, going over the sky double. Going into the dog leg. Forty-five seconds left to go. This is race number three, race number four. You guys are up next. That's the last heat of Sportsman E-Buggy. Fifteen seconds. Race clock has expired. Keep them running till you hit the loop. Dennis, you're done. 
Ryder, you're done. Lane's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. So one more to finish. And that is the race. Drivers from race number three back out to Marshall. Race number four, hold them in staging. Drivers in that last race head back out to the track to Marshall. Spread out, need several on the left side and with that step up double on the back stretch. You guys are spread out. Start heading to the left side. Race number four. Go ahead and roll them out. One lap. One lap. I have a check on everyone except for Trevor Barrier. Lineup's going to be Gardner 1, Swain 2, Whitlow 3, Barrier 4, Richmond 5, Wyatt 6, Riley 7, Sloan 8, Arch Anchetta 9, Radcliffe 10, Hart 11, Holt 12, and Bringle 13. I don't know those last two are Radcliffe 10, Hart 11, Holt 12, Bringle 13. All right. Uh, hey, David Talent, can you move to that cone over here with the, uh, the vest on it, the one on the triangle? Thank you, sir. All right, guys, here we go. Last heat of Sportsman E Buggy in this round. I guess get lined up here. All right, here we go. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. Davey, never mind if you want to go back to where you were. Sorry, I didn't see him coming. I mean, Mark Whitlow leading them the first time around. Steven Gardner, Travis Wyatt. Sloan, Swain, Holt, Riley, Barrier, Richmond, Bringle, Anchetta, Radcliffe, and Hart finish out the first lap. And they're all staying packed right in together. 
On that backside double. Brandon Slowen, now your leader. It's Brandon going into the center section double. Here comes Mark Whitlow, Stephen Gardner, the battle for second. The all pink car in the white, blue, and yellow. Then the battle just continues behind them. All these cars going into the quad, all these cars coming on the left side of the track, currently in a battle for position. And three wide going into that corner double. We had one car get off the track, but nobody actually had to be marshaled, which was amazing. And there comes Gardner once again. He's got a rearview mirror full of Derek Richmond, Trevor Barrier, Steve Anchetta. That's the battle again for fourth spot. And you've got Swain, Radcliffe, Wyatt, Holt, Hart, and Whitlow. Fifth through 11th now, just a couple seconds apart. Three down, seven to go, three down, seven to go. Last time by, Brandon had an eight-second lead over the rest of the field, and Trevor Barrier had an almost five-second lead, so they're pretty much out front. But Travis Holt, Stephen Gardner, Travis Wyatt, Mark Whitlow, Steve Anchetta, Scott Swain, Derek Richmond, Jared Hart, Brock Radcliffe, and Bryson Bringle. Well, it looks like Bryson might have had a, a bad lap. So, But from Brock Radcliffe up, that's going to be third through tenth. It's a very tight battle. That battle starts with these first couple cars coming across the line. And just continues the battle for fourth. I believe that's for fourth anyway, but it's a battle going to that center section. I'm trying to watch the track as much as I can, give you guys cautions, also help you guys maneuver through traffic. Right now your leader, Brandon Slowen, going over the corner double. About to hit the back side of the track, speed double and sky double. Your leader is that light red, almost fluorescent orange, yellow with a white wing, yellow wheels. It's a good looking ride heading in the dog leg in front of staging.
Six down, four to go. Six down, four to go. This is race number four, race number five, 16U E-Buggy. You guys are up next. Everybody kind of getting spread out and getting comfortable. There's still a battle for third between Travis Holt and Travis Wyatt. Steven Gardner, Travis Holt. Looks like Travis Wyatt having a long lap, but that's the battle coming out of the quad for third. Between the white and dark blue and the white, pink, and blue of Travis Holt. Steven Gardner trying to hold on to every position he can. Every position is definitely valuable when you're racing heads up all day for race points. And down the straightaway they go. The battle for third continues between Gardner and Holt. And Gardner was on the inside. Holt looks to the outside on the quad. Doesn't quite stick. Gardner tries to put the nose back into the inside. And then Gardner kind of jumped to the outside. Holt jumped in, but then Gardner... It's just outside, inside lane between these two guys. Holt shoots it into the inside again. It just seems like every other jump, one of these guys pushes a little too wide. Oh, and then Gardner doesn't quite make it over that right side double. That's going to give Holt tons of breathing room. But we still have two minutes left to go in this one, drivers. Eight down, two to go. Eight down, two to go. Nine down, one to go, nine down, one to go. Here's your running order. It's slowing out front, Barrier second, Holt third, Gardner fourth, Whitlow fifth, Richmond sixth, and Chetta seventh, Swain eighth, Hart ninth, and Bringle in tenth. Looks like Wyatt, Radcliffe, and Riley having to pull them off early. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. The race clock has expired. When you cross the line, you'll be done. Bryson, you're done. Trevor, you're done. Brandon, you're done. Looks like uh, it's like Brandon maybe had a little bit slower lap the last couple times around. And it looks like Trevor actually got him right there at the end by about half a second. Everyone is done. Everyone is done. That is the race. Race number four, back out to Marshall. Race number five, hold them in staging. Wiley 
Hold him in staging, guys. Hold him in staging. Hold him right there, guys. Look, there's marshals from that last race. Dylan Thompson. Need to fill in some of the left side of the track. More guys on the back side. Need somebody at the end of the quad. Somebody right here in front of timing and scoring. Christopher Owens. All right, guys. One lap warm up. One lap warm up. Go ahead and roll them out. And one marshal in front of timing and scoring. Looks like Stephen Gardner's coming. All right, guys, let's go ahead and bring them around and line them up. It's going to be Trotter, number one, Huffman, number two, Costa, number three, McKellick, number four, Thompson, five, Elliott, six, Owen, seven, Estep, eight, Woodyard, nine, Evan Check, sit, ten, Long, eleven, Stewart, twelve, Matty Long, thirteenth, and Shells, fourteenth. So don't have a check on Ryder Trotter. Okay, guys, it's Huff Trotter one, Huffman two, Costa three. Thank you guys for helping me out a little bit. Huffman two, Costa three, McKellick four, Thompson five, Elliott six, Owen seven, Estep eight, Woodyard nine, Evan check. 10, Long 11, Stewart 12, Maddie Long 13, and Shells 14. Guys, he's just moved you on the line. Quit moving them around. Just pull the green one back. Yep. We're on that line where he was just at. Seven. All right, we have a full field and we have marshals. Here we go, 16U e-buggy. Turn marshals are ready, drivers are ready. Race. Let off the throttle, guys, let off the throttle when you got a marshal head coming to get your car. It's going to be 
Jordan Costa leading them around for the first lap. And Dylan Thompson, Maddie Long, Elliot Shells, Anthony Long, Evan Check, Huffman, they're still coming around. Stewart, Woodyard, that'll be your top 10. There's a four way battle for first going on that back section. One, two, and three, single file line over the sky double and out on the right side of the track. Here they come back down the straightaway. Caution coming on in that front straight. It's clear. Two twenty down, seven forty left to go. Four down, seven to go. Four down, seven to go. It's Parker Shells out front on a 17, 10, 34 pace. Right now, everybody's pretty much spread out. By at least a couple seconds. This is race number five, race number six, your first heat of Sportsman Nitro. You guys are up next. Caution that sky double, caution the sky double. It's clear. That car just about landed backwards. I don't think you could do that again if you tried. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. Got two over in the quad, two hung up in the quad. Parker Shell's leading the way with Dylan Thompson second, Aubrey Evancheck third. It's Stewart, Anthony Long, Costa, L Maddie Long, Elliott, Estep, Woodyard, and Huffman finish out the top 10. One over in the middle of the quad, got one over in the middle of the quad. I will need a couple volunteers this next race. Got a lot of kids in this one. We'd rather them not marshal the nitro cars coming up next. So we'll need a couple volunteers in about five minutes.
If I can see Josh Garbert, the timing and scoring, please. Josh Garbert, the timing and scoring. Six down, four to go. It's still Parker Shells out front. 10 second lead over Aubrey in second. Everybody's pretty much spread out by a fairly good margin. Your top five are spread out by over 10 seconds. Six through 10 is spread out. Some of them are spread out by over a minute. So it's just gonna be staying smooth, clean and consistent, keeping the car together and getting it to the finish line. 3.30 left to go. Race number six, race number six. Your first heat of Sportsman Nitro Buggy. You guys are up next. Nine down, nine down, one minute to go. Parker Shell is still out front. Aubrey Vanchik, Anthony Long, Maddie Long. Mackenzie Woodyard, Ethan Estep, and Christopher Owings. Five seconds. Four seconds left. Time. When you cross the line, you will be done. Christopher Owings, you're done, pal. Maddie Long, you are done. Anthony Long, you are done. Coming around the dog leg. Parker Shells, you are done. Good job, buddy, 17 laps. 
fast lap and that one was Drivers from my last event, let's hustle out there to those cones. Moms, dads, pit crew, for the 16 you folks, we need you to get out to a cone for your youngster. If we could migrate down here to the left of the race control, the far end, we can get these guys going. We are looking at the heat one of Sportsman Nitro Buggy, Dennis Allison, Joseph Williams, R.C. Newby, Jason McNeil, Bryson Bringle, Josh Brown, Logan Spielock, Matt Owings, James Gravely, Trevor Barrier, Travis Holt, and Nick Elliott. All right, if we could get one more marshal, one more marshal down here at the far end. We need probably one more marshal for the back middle. All right, we got one coming out. All right, guys, go ahead and roll them out. One lap, one lap only. Come back around and get on the grid. The only one I did not get a check from is Matt Owings. Matt, I need you to go over that line again. It's Dennis Allison on the one, Joseph Williams on the two, RC Newby three, Jason McNeil on the four, Bryson Bringle five, Josh Brown on the six, Spielock on the seventh, Owings on the eight, Gravely on the nine, Trevor Berry on the 10, Holt on the 11, and Nick Elliott on the 12. Okay. We have a TLR starter down on the pit road, it was left from last time around, I believe. All right, we are, our field is full. Our marshals are ready. Fuel them up, fuel them up, fuel them up. What? Travis, you're 11. Clean them up, clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Down and quiet. Race. Okay.
That is your leader on the front stretch, Dennis Allison. Followed by Nick Elliott, Jason McNeil, Travis Holt, Trevor Barrier, Joseph Williams, Bryson Bringle, James Gravely, Logan Spielock. We have about four and a half seconds separating one and two with another second to the third place. Allison, Elliott, Holt, Barrier, Bringle, McNeil, Spielock are your top eight. Dennis Allison now pulling out a little bit of a lead. He's up about 10 seconds. Nice little battle shaping up for third, fourth, and fifth, all about a second apart. We are now at four down, six minutes remaining. Four down, six minutes remaining. We've got one taker on the early fuel strategy. Dennis Allison, in and out of the pits, never likes to be late for lunch. We are halfway, gentlemen. Five down, five to go. Five down, five to go. Dennis Allison still maintaining a lead. Bryson Bringle has moved up to the two. Travis Holt on the three. Nick Elliott on the four. Jason McNeil on the five. Joseph Williams on the six. Josh Brown, seventh. Logan Spielock, eight. R.C. Newby, nine. And Matt Owings, ten. Looks like Trevor and James have had a little issue. Bryson Bringle closing that gap on Dennis Allison. Dennis Allison coming down the stretch right now, circling back into the quad.
We are coming up on seven down, three minutes to go. Seven down, three minutes remaining. Dennis Allison still on point. Has stretched it quite a bit. Travis Holt in second, about 18 seconds behind. Bryson Bringle right on his tail, however, in third. Logan, Logan Spielock. Josh Brown has now moved up to the fifth spot. Got a pretty big battle going on for second place between Bryson and Travis Holt. Second place battle is crossing the line now. There's Bryson. There's Travis. Only about three seconds separating those two. Dennis Allison has a horseshoe in his pocket and he has kind of checked out on this one. Up by about 28 plus seconds. He's got the top down cruising. He's on an 18, 10, 32 pace. Travis Holt gets back around Bryson for the two spot. Looks like we've lost another couple. Nick Elliott, RC Newby. Something happening out there. I've had to drop off. Nine minutes, one minute remaining. Nine minutes, one minute remaining. Nine and a half, 30 seconds remain. Nine and a half down. Who's gonna take that second spot? Will it be Travis Holt or Bryson Bringle battling it out? They've got about a half a lap to do it. Six seconds. Time. When you come by, you will be done. When you cross the line, you will be done. Logan, you're done. Jason, you're done. Matt Owings, you're done. Josh Brown, you're done. Dennis, Travis, Bryson, champagne time. Joseph Williams, champagne for you as well. You all are finished. That is a race. Travis Holt, fast lap. 33-136. Next up, Sportsman Nitro Buggy, Bobby Thompson, Steve Hobson, Chase Garbert, Benji Mullins, Brandon Sisk, Davey Talent, Drew Halverson, Charlie Lay, Joshua Spencer, Mark Whitlow, Justin Norman, Tyler Melton, Lane Deming, and Max Stewart. It's been fun here on the mic, but I have to go help my son, so I'll be back later. Thank you.
And all my drivers back out from race number six, out to the track to Marshall. Need somebody there at the <clears throat> other side of the quad. Appreciate Josh filling in. Marshals are making their way. All right, race number seven, Sportsman Nitro. One lap, roll them out. I got you. Everybody at those garage doors, just watch out for a moment. Running order is going to be Thompson number one, Hobson two, Garbert three, Mullins four, Sist five, Talent six, Halverson seven, Lay eight, Spencer nine. Whitlow 10, Norman 11, Melton 12, Deming 13, and Stewart 14. You know, Marshall in between, I need a Marshall with the speed double, I need a Marshall in between the speed double and the sky double. I got a couple guys over here, if you guys are helping me, Marshall, need you to guys go to the back. Right. My guy right here, my Mar all my Marshalls look this way. All Marshalls look at me, I need you to head over here to the end of the quad, thank you, sir. My marshal's over here, I don't need two, so my guy right here next to the cone, can you move to the back, please? Thank you, sir. Yep, I need you back here at the, just help, help my little guy out over here, okay? You guys work together. All right, guys, here we go, Sportsman Nitro, let's go ahead and fill him up, fill him up, fill him up. Let's clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready. Drivers ready. Down and quiet. Race. Leading them around for the first lap. Here comes Benji Mullins, followed by David Talent, Justin Norman, Charlie Lay, Tyler Melton, Steve Hobson, Lane Deming, Chase Garbert, and Bobby Thompson. That's your top nine. We got several over in the quad. Caution coming into the quad. Caution going into the quad. Caution going into the quad. Caution going into the quad. And one flame out in the quad. One fifteen down, eight forty five to go.
Two down, 7.45 to go. Two, 15 down, 7.45 to go. It's Benji Mullins out front. Here come your leaders down the straightaway. It's Mullins, Norman. That's the battle for first going into the quad. And Benji double doubles into the quad, sends it into that center double, but oh, it cases it. As soon as you mention their name, it's like hocus pocus, now you've lost focus. Everybody's pretty, pretty well together. We got Bobby Thompson, Charlie Lay, and Lane Deming to battle for fourth. Believe that battle's coming up and over that right side double into the dog leg. We'll see next time around. Your third place car, Ty Tyler Milton, going into the quad. There comes Charlie Lay in fourth. Bobby Thompson, looks like Lane might be having a long lap, so. There's Mark Whitlow. Now there's Lane. So now everybody's getting pretty much spread out. Your top two last time by was a second and a half apart with 6.30 left to go. We're going to see if these pit stops start to happen sooner than later. So far, I don't think anybody's come into pit lane. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. This is race number seven, race number eight. You guys are up next. Five down, five to go, five down, five to go. Halfway, halfway for race number seven, our last heat of Sportsman Nitro. About to roll into Open Electric here in just a moment. Right now with a little over four minutes left to go, Charlie Lay and Justin Norman, the battle for second, and Benji Mullins, Mark Whitlow, and Lane Deming, the battle for fifth. We're gonna see if we can find those on the track. Tyler Melton, now your leader. Tyler heading into the quad, single doubles and singles back out. There comes Charlie Lay and Justin Norman. We know Charlie, He's been on a tear this weekend. He's in the white and red buggy going over that corner double now on the left side. The back side goes Charlie Lay, and then I believe that's going to be Justin Norman in the all yellow. Heading into that left side double, about to jump into the dog leg. He is trying to catch Charlie Lay for that number two spot. And you've got Davey Talent and Lane Deming, the battle for fifth. I believe that battle's coming on the straightaway now. There's Steve, there's Drew and Steve, there's Benji and Lane. So the battle for eighth and the battle for fourth coming out of the quad right now. Two separate battles, four different cars. 
And that corner double heading over the right side double. Eight down, two to go, eight down, two to go. We are rolling through qualifying here at the 2020 Blue Ridge Nationals at the Apex Center in Whitfield, Virginia. Want to thank everybody for coming out. Also want to thank all of our viewers at home watching on the mod broadcast. We are live on YouTube as well as several different pages on Facebook. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We hope to see some of you at some of our future events. Your leader almost getting caught up a lap traffic over that big kicker double. Nine down, one to go. Nine down, one to go. It's Melton out front. Lay second. Norman third. Deming fourth. Talent fifth. Mullen six. Whitlow seven. Halverson eight. Hobson nine. Sis ten. And right now, Charlie Lay trying to get past Tyler Melton. Last time around, they were about a second apart, but it looks like both those cars are going to be caught up in lap traffic, so it's going to be who can get through clean. And there comes Charlie, and there's Tyler, the battle for first. This will probably be their last lap going into the quad. Oh, and Melton gets a hold of Lave. It looked like Lave tried to kind of jump out, and Melton tried to jump in coming out of the quad, so just kind of a... Wrong place at the wrong time, and it looks like Charlie Lay got the, the bad end of that deal. Oh, and Melton, a little bobble coming off the kick of uh, the sky double. And then Lay trying to get around traffic, but it looks like Melton might be able to hold on to it if he can through the line, and he does. Race clock has expired. Melton is done. Lay is done. Norman done. Deming done. Talent's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. The awesome race to the finish right there for Tyler Melton, Charlie Lay, and Justin Norman. They were all just a couple seconds apart. That is the race. Thank you for helping me, Marshall, Dave. Brandon Shell. Doug All right, and the nitro engines die and the electric motors spool up as we go into open e-buggy, guys. Hold them in staging, hold them in staging. Need race number seven, race number seven. Back out to the track to Marshall. Mike, I don't think those tires are stuffed in enough. I think that's Mike over there doing donuts. All right, if I can get some of my marshals to kind of migrate to the left side. 
Race number eight, open e-buggy, one lap, roll them out. Running order is going to be Baker, number one, McNeil, two, Bolton House, three, Shells, four, Evan Check, five, Cash, six, Carr, seven, Webster, eight, Kissel, nine, Tudor, ten, Owens, eleven, Holloway, twelfth, Cannon, thirteenth, Hill, fourteenth, Swisher, fifteenth, Atkins, sixteenth, and Anderson, seventeenth. Bolton House is third. All right, we got two cars kind of bunched up there, that red and white and that green car. So somebody move, there we go. All right, I'm, got me to marshal there. I need to marshal at the center double. Need to marshal at the center doubles, go in there, all right. Uh, the one closer to you. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. I got marshals. I have drivers. Here we go. Open e-buggy. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. And Donnie Baker and Jason McNeil going to lead them around for the first time. It looks like one of them got caught up on the pipe. So a gaggle of cars going through that center section. A couple of them having to be marshaled. Good job, marshals. Staying cool and calm. It can be very stressful in a marshal, especially on your starts. You have four or five cars flip over at the same time. Just take a deep breath, flip the one closest to you, and keep on rolling. Couple over in the quad. Got one over in the front side of the quad. You okay? Okay. Caution coming off the sky double. Caution coming landing sky double. Caution landing sky double. Clear. Gaggle of cars going into that corner double now on the left side of the track. Donnie Baker trying to hold off Brandon Shells and Chris Cash. I believe that's just Brandon now. Looks like Chris kind of got mixed back into the mix, but he's still right there. Basically, the battle for the race. I mean, just the whole, all top 10 right there, bumper to bumper, coming down the front straightaway. Donnie Baker and Brandon Shells, a little bit of breathing room on the rest of the field. And you've got Anderson, Hill, Tudor, Cash, Atkins, Holloway, Carr, and Swisher. I'm sorry, and Bolton House, and Evancheck, and McNeil. The top 13 cars are just a couple seconds apart. Your leaders in that right side double jumping into the dog leg. They have a plethora of cars behind them. I need more big words for multiple. Anybody got a dictionary? A thesaurus? I'm gonna be the the Eminem of uh, of rappers or the Eminem of announcers.
Two down, seven to go, two down, seven to go. It's Brandon Shells and Donnie Baker out front. So Brandon Shells, the all blue car, white wing, white wheels going over the left side double and skying it out on the left side double, making that techno pivot in the air. And Donnie Baker, green, orange, white wheels, black wing on that left side double going into the dog leg. That's your second place car. He's about to jump right there in front of staging down the front straightaway is your second place car. Last time by, he had a five second lead over Doug Tudor. Doug Tudor is in the fourth place car. Now Zach Carr up to third. So Zach is gonna be that multicolored car, black wheels, yellow wing on this, coming up on the left side double. That thing's all kind of colors. You got green and yellow and blue and orange. Cool looking buggy. Zach Carr coming in the dog leg, coming up on some some of the leaders now. He's catching up one by one, and now we've got a battle between Donnie Baker and Zach Carr. See Donnie taking that other line. They both come out about the same time. They went too wide over that center double. Looks like Donnie, not sure if he hit the brakes or they hit each other, but it is nosedive just a little bit. Had to check up. I'm gonna put Donnie in third. And then you got Michael Anderson, Chase Atkins, Tudor, Hill, Bolton House, Cash, Holloway, Evanchek, Cannon, Swisher, McNeil, and Owens finish out your top 15. This is race number eight, race number nine. Open Nitro Buggy, you guys are up next. Four thirty left to go in this one. The battle between Holloway, Cash, Evancheck, Bolton House, and Anderson. And that's the battle for six, going to the left side double. That whole gaggle of cars, the all yellow, the white and white and red. The yellow, orange, and black of Chris Cash. Oh, and they all kind of get caught up coming off the sky double. Now they're heading back into the dog leg. So that's the battle for 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th. Donnie Baker and Chase Atkins. believe that's the battle coming on the back side on that speed double. Caution coming off the speed double. Caution coming off the speed double. Clear. And the battle right now for third. Going to continue coming right in front of staging down the front straightaway. Chase Atkins and Donnie Baker. Chase is going to single, double, single. So is Baker. That's what most of these guys are doing. Most of these guys in the electric able to, to double on the inside line. Some of your nitro guys are taking that long way around, making sure they get over it, but they're carrying so much momentum. Carrying so much more momentum going a little bit longer, they're actually getting over that second uh, set of doubles a little bit faster. So they're actually double doubling instead of single, double, single. Two forty-five left to go. This is race number eight, race number nine, Pro Nitro Buggy. You guys are up next.
Eight down, two to go, eight down, two to go. We still got a battle for third between Chase Atkins and Donnie Baker. They are going to be coming right around that speed double, coming up on the sky double. And now Brandon Chills and Zach Carr, the battle for first. Let's see if we can pick them up somewhere. Last time around, they were 1.3 seconds apart. And Brandon's in the all blue, white wheels, white wing. Coming in front of staging and down the straightaway, but I don't see anybody behind him. Well, there's Zach Carr. So your first place car is the all blue buggy going into that center double. And you have Zach Carr in the multicolored buggy with black wheels, yellow wing, in the corner double, now coming on the left side double. So he's not far off your leader. Just one mistake away from Brandon Shells to take over the lead with just under a minute left to go. Looks like Chase Atkins kind of got away from Donnie Baker. With 40 seconds left to go on the race clock. Coming up on 10 seconds left. Looks like everybody pretty much spread out. The only one that might can make a move. We got five seconds, and there's a battle for the lead. Last lap, here we go. Your battle for the lead's coming out of the quad. Oh, and Carr just cases it, but he still gets it back on all fours. Race clock has expired. You cross the line, you will be done. Let's finish the battle for the lead. Coming onto the back speed double. It's Shell and Carr up and over that sky double. Oh, it looks like Shell had a bobble coming on the landing. Car to the inside, gets around. Here they go in the dog. Oh, and then Car with the traction roll coming into the dog leg, just like a phantom out of nowhere. Flips over that buggy and Brandon Shell's gonna hold on to it. Zach Carr gonna come in second. When you cross the line, you're done. A couple of them didn't listen, but that's okay. Uh, still waiting for Chris Cash to finish, then we will, we will be done. Here comes Chris Cass around the track one more time. And that is a race. In race number eight, back out to the track to Marshall. Race number nine, hold him in staging. All my drivers in that last one back out to Marshall. Get you guys to kind of migrate towards the left side again. A couple more on the left side. All right, open nitro heat number one. Let's go ahead and roll them out one lap. Don't hit Chris Cash. Hey, Chris Cash, Chris Cash. Can I get you to move to this one? Thank you, sir. Hey, Donnie. Donnie, can you move to that one in the infield? Thank you, sir. All 
All right, guys, one lap. When you come back to line up, it's going to be Koontz, number one, McManus, two, Ream, three, Haley, four, Hutto, five, Kane, six, Denford, seven, Bringle, eight, Smith, nine, Saxton, ten, Serrano, eleven, and Woodyard, twelve. track full of marshals. I have the grid. Open nitro. Let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. It's on the box. Are they not lined up right? Hey, why we got so many guys right here? Hey, tell them to go over. You need to go to the other side. That car, yeah, just, just. All right, looks like we got it. All right, now let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready. Drivers ready. Down to quiet. Race. All of my nitro guys, when I say down and quiet, that car is to go straight down to the track, not 50 feet in front of you, not 50 feet behind you, not in the middle of the track. It needs to go right next to the pipe, and that car needs to stay still. If your guys' engines can't idle for two and a half seconds, something is wrong. Not, nobody did it that time, I'm just reiterating. We've had a couple guys try to jump the start in electric and nitro. When I say down and quiet, the car goes next to the pipe, where your pit guy is, and it needs to stay still until I say race. Michael Coons leading him around for the first lap, coming down the front straightaway. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Cameron Saxon, Ethan McManus, Bryson Bringle, Darren Keynes, and then Michael Coons. Caution in the front straightaway, in the front straightaway. One and a half down, eight and a half to go. Your leader is bringing them around the right side of the track, coming in front. Your leader is going to be coming down the straightaway, but the battle for second now the, down the straight between Ethan McManus and Darren Keynes. The green with checkered flag and the pink and blue. Man, what some close race between Darren Keynes and Ethan McManus. They actually swapped spots in the air and now side by side, sky double. Kane's almost jumping and passing him in the air. Doesn't quite have the line for it. Had to get back on the track. That's okay. Still got plenty of time left in this one. It looks like Darren, a little bit of a bobble. That's going to give him a rear view mirror full of Michael Koontz. Michael in the orange and green, yellow wheels, black wing. And right behind him is Brian Bringle. Brian also in a yellow, or I'm sorry, pink and blue with white, the white wheels. 
So that's second, third, and fourth, and fifth. Coming into that right side, double out, going into the dog leg. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. This is race number nine, race number 10. Second heat of Open Nitro Buggy, you guys are up next. Starting to see some of these guys going to come in for fuel. Five down, five to go, five down, five to go, halfway, halfway. Guys coming in for fuel. Currently fifth, Brent Densford in for fuel, a splash, and then back out. Well, yeah, this might be in Cameron Mina came in for fuel that last time around the 38 second lap for him. Your leader going into the quad is going to single double and single back out. Your second place car, Darren Keynes, I believe that's who Will McGiver has in the pits. Back down and out. Some of these guys are gonna have a little bit longer lap on their out lap. So right now, Cameron Saxon has five seconds over Darren Keynes. Darren Keynes has 14 seconds on Brian Bringle. Brian Bringle has two seconds on Ethan McManus. That's about the closest battle. Brent Densford with about a four second lead. No, I'm sorry, Did Brent Densford only half a second in front of Brad Smith. So Brad Smith trying to battle Brent for the number six spot. See if we can find that on the racetrack. As we still have more cars cycling into pit lane. There's Brent across the line. And don't see Brad. There's Brad. So that time he's going to be five seconds off of Brent. That's the closest battle for sixth right now. Looks like Brian Bringle and Ethan McManus might be pretty close. Ethan just ran his fastest lap of a 31.8. Fastest lap this race is a 31.2 by Cameron Saxton, your leader. Two thirty left to go in this one. Race number 10, race number 10, we're getting them ready. Now we have a battle between Brent Densford and Michael Kuntz for the number four spot going into the center set of doubles. Oh, and Densford with a traction roll. Looks like Kuntz going to get around him. With two minutes left to go. Mike Green and Michael Haley a battle for seventh. 
Caution sky double, caution sky double, it's clear. One thirty left to go. One minute left. Running order pretty much staying the same. Forty five seconds, forty five seconds. Ten seconds. Race clock has expired. When you cross the line, you're done. Darren Keynes, you're done. Brad Smith, you're done. McManus done, Reem done, Haley done. You cross the line, you will be done. So we got one more to finish, one more to finish. And everyone is done, that is the race. My drivers from race number nine back out to Marshall. Race number 10, hold them in staging. Drivers in that last race, back out to Marshall, kind of start migrating to the left. I see him coming around. All right, race number 10, second heat of Open Nitro. Roll them out one lap. They're coming around. Or you might can get Daddy Dave back there. Back here.
All right, guys, go ahead and bring them around, line them up. There's going to be Visco 1, Carr 2, Group 3, Atkins 4, Santos 5, Carmody 6, Talent 7, Winners 8, Webster 9, Cruz 10, High 11, Kramer 12, and Anderson 13. All right, my grid looks good. I really would like to have another marshal back here. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, Brent. My guy over here at the staging, my marshal over here at staging, no, on the right side. <laughs> could you move over here with the vest on? Yeah, could you move to that center spot? Right there at the end of the quad. There we go. All right, he's walking that way while he does. Let's go ahead and fill him up, fill him up, fill him up. Let's clean him out, clean him out, clean him out. Turn marshal's ready. Driver's ready. Down to quiet. Race. Caution on the front straightaway. Caution front straightaway. Caution front straightaway. Caution, 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 caution. Clear. That could have been a disaster. All right, a whole bunch of them going over that step up double. Two and three wide coming over that right side in the dog leg. I mean, Mike Visco out front with a rear view mirror full of Zach Carr. Carr looked to the inside, but it looks like Visco going to, he pushed a little bit wide. Carr went to the inside. Visco looked like he was going to hang on, but couldn't quite make it stick. So he's just going to let Carr go, hope for a mistake. But he's still right there on his tail. Hadn't let him get too far. Then you've got Kevin Winters and Carlos Cruz, the battle for third. Really, it's the battle for the top three coming down the front straightaway. Oh, and Zach Carr takes the coming out of the quad really wide. Visco trying just to hit his lines. Oh, and Carr, Carr having some issues with both his buggies just having a little bit of traction roll. The track might be uh, taking on a little bit of character. Just a little bit. <laughs> Is somebody keeping track of how many times we say character? Hey, Michael Coons, that's twice. We've said character, oh, that's three times. You, you keeping track? Two and a half down, seven and a half to go. It's Carr out front, Visco second, Winners third, Cruz fourth, Santos fifth, Carmody six, Webster seven, Atkins eight, Kramer high, Anderson, Roop, and Talent finish out the top 13. This is race number 10, race number 11, Pro E-Buggy. You guys are up next. Got one dead in the quad. 
Flame out in the quad. Flame out in the quad. Pit guys, be aware. We have one flamed out in the quad. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. Zach Carr leading the way. You've got Visco, Cruz, Santos, and Carmody. A four-way battle for second. And there goes Zach down the straightaway. Here comes the gaggle of cars, the battle for second. Coming across the line and down the straightaway, that's Carmody, Visco, and Cruz. So Katie Carmody showing the guys how to get it done. Race like a girl. Don't give an inch. Check out the podcast, but check out Katie's car getting around this track here at Blue Ridge. Looks like everybody pretty much getting spread out, but here we go with fuel stops. We had Zach Carr come in, and it looks like that's going to put Zach right there with Katie coming over that center double. Oh, and Katie with a little bit of a traction roll had to get it back on all fours. That's all right. Last time by, she had a 10 second lead over Carlos. Caution in the quad, caution in the quad. 345 left to go. Liam Santos and Kevin Winters. Kevin Winters and Liam Santos to battle for third. And here comes Katie, your second place car, into pit road. David on the gun. Bing, bang, boom. She's back out. No time at all. It looked like a Ty Tessman pit stop. Hey, David, you've been talking to Gord Tessman. Two forty-five left to go. Two forty-five left to go. Race number eleven. What's wrong with Bing Bang Boom? Eight down, two to go, eight down, two to go. One forty five left. Here's your running order one more time. It's car out front, Carmody second. Winners third, Santos four, Visco fifth. 
Anderson six, high seven, Cruz eight, Talent nine, oh now it's Talent eight, Cruz nine, Atkins 10, Roof 11, Webster 12, and Kramer 13. Nine down, one to go, nine down, one to go. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. When you cross the line, you will be done. Race clock has expired. When you cross the line, you will be done. Katie, you're done. Liam, you're done. Winners is done. When you cross the line, you will be done. And that is the race. Marshall's in that last race back out to the track. Race number 11, hold him in staging. Trying to keep the sun off the back of you guys there in the staging as much as I can. Eventually I'll have to close those doors all the way for about an hour. Let the sun go down then we'll open them all the way back up. Marshalls from that last race start migrating to the left side. There was plenty of you, all my pro e-buggy guys hold them in staging. All right, guys, looks like we have a pit box on pit road. Somebody left. Also, I have a TLR glow igniter. It looks like it's brand new. We're very close to brand new. So I have a TLR glow igniter. It's up here with me in the announcer's booth. All right, Pro E-Buggy, let's get one lap.
Running order when they come back around, it's gonna be Cabre number one, trailer number two, Kowick three. And you have until the grid set. That's Cabre one, trailer two, Kowick three, Thompson four, O'Keefe five, Schreffler six, Jones seven, Elliott eight, Cruz nine, Deming 10, Harris 11, Hepler 12, Nivoso 13, Setzer 14, McMahon is 15, Taylor, Davis Taylor 16, Diggs 17, Lawson 18, Did not have a check on Luke Deming, Wyatt Lawson. That's Cole. Cole start number one. No check on Luke Deming or Wyatt Lawson. All right. I need uh Hey, Brendan, will you move over to the back side? Yep. Thank you, sir. All right. I have a full field, and I have marshals. Here we go. It's pro e-buggy. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. Oh, and a bunch of them get caught up right there in the very center of the turn. Everybody took it real inside. It's going to be Cole leading them around for the first time. It's going to be Shane, Jason, Donald, Jordan, Matt, Wyatt, Sean, Davis, BB, Ethan, Stevie, Travis, Mike, Zach, Chandler, like Cole, started on the pole, went from first to last to first lap, and looks like DJ didn't have a very good first lap either. That's okay, both those guys, they know how racing goes. Sometimes you gotta win it on the long haul, not on the first lap. Speaking of long haul, we do have a long haul award this weekend for the racer who traveled the farthest to be with us. That's why we've been asking how far you traveled to be here when you go to register. Also been on the lookout for Marshall of the Weekend. I have a couple of you in mind already, but you gotta keep it up through the weekend. Trust me, the prize is worth it. Two fifteen down, seven forty five to go. David, you okay? You good? Okay. I just looked over and you were on the ground. <laughs> right now is Donald Elliott leading the way. He's going through the quad. Logan Kowick and Jason Schreffler in the third spot. And it looks like Schreffler might have a little bit of company from Davis Taylor and Sean O'Keefe. Nervoso, Cabre and Hepler, the battle for sixth. And then Setzer, whoa, set, I can't keep up. The other half of the pack, the battle for ninth. <laughs> it's Jones, Lawson, Cruz, Harris, McManus, Diggs, and Setzer, the battle between ninth and 15th. So we're three minutes in and most of the 
group is still pretty much neck and neck and neck. Still anybody's race. Last time around, Don Elliott with only four second lead over Jordan Cowick or Logan Cowick. Sorry, Logan. The last race I called, I had a had a Jordan Cowick. So we're four down, six to go in the battle for second. I believe it's coming right here onto the back section of the track. We're gonna see next time when they hit the loop. But I believe this is Logan and Jason coming around into the dog leg. It's a little bit harder to tell where your battles are on a bigger track. And indeed I was right, Logan and Jason, the battle for second. That's the yellow, and I think that's purple on the back, but it's yellow wheels, yellow wing. And the green and blue, oh! And they both get together, and it looks like Jason's actually gonna get the better end of that one. Looks like Logan had to be marshaled, so that's gonna give him just a little bit of breathing room to Jason, but not too much, so I'm gonna be right back on his tail in no time. The Cole Cabre, Davis Taylor, and Matt Nivoso, the battle for fifth. Cole across the line, Davis across the line, Matt across the line. So that's the battle heading out of the quad with just under five minutes left to go. It is unbelievable that us at Scale Racing Sports, it's our third event, and we have over doubled in entry count this time around. That's all thanks to you guys, but that's also a huge thanks to our local tracks, just like Beach RC. You've got the guys at World of RC in Lukama. you got some local guys from Red Rush RC out of Mount Airy, North Carolina. A lot of that crowd from the King RC era. I even heard Chris Smith was calling a race down there at Red Brush. He's a longtime veteran and ambassador of the sport. Also, big thanks to uh, all the guys at Rock Racing out of Knoxville. Appreciate those guys coming out and racing with us. Good group of guys if you're ever in that area or if you just want to travel one of their big events. They have several every year. Trust me, it is worth the time. It's worth the, the travel. It's an uh, outdoor facility with a... Uh, not to describe it. It's a, uh, basically an open arena. They do have a roof overhead, so rain or shine, they always race. Seven down, three to go. Here's the running order. It's Don Elliott out front, Scheffler in the second spot, Kowick third, O'Keefe fourth, Cabre, Hepler, Jones, Nevoso, Taylor, Lawson, Harris, McManus, Cruz, Setzer, Diggs, Thompson, and Shane Trailer finish out the top 17. Eight down. Eight down, two to go. Everybody pretty much spread out by at least a couple seconds, but Cole Cobra, DJ Hepler, and Travis Jones. There's Cole across the line, DJ across the line, Jones across the line. 
So that's the battle. Coming into that corner, ta uh, corner double. Guys, if a marshal has to wait for traffic to go by before flipping over your car, that's not the marshal's fault. Oh, caution coming off the speed double, caution off the speed double. It's clear. Caution off the sky double. Woo. Brennan is brave. One minute. Forty-five seconds left to go. Twenty seconds. Race clock has expired and you cross the line, you will be done. Don, you're done. Shane's done. Wyatt's done. Logan's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. This is race number 11, race number 12, E Truggy. You guys are up next. Still got several more to finish. So a couple more to finish. And it looks like that is the race. See if this last car needs to finish coming or bring it across the line. Oh, okay. Or do. All right, race number 11, back out to the track to Marshall. Race number 12, hold them in staging. All right, guys, race number 12. Go ahead and roll them out one lap. Get my marshals to spread out just a little bit. Caution front straightaway. Caution into straight. Never mind.
Running order is going to be Tudor number one, Hart two, Holt three, Sizemore four, Gardner five, Fletcher six, Bateman seven, Bolton House eight, Sander nine, Trotter ten, Beeman eleven, and Hatcher twelve. Job lining up. Marshals are all out there. All right, here we go. E Truggy, heat number one. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. And several of them getting tangled up coming out of the quad. But it looks like Doug Tudor. I believe it's in the oh. Looks like Doug actually doing a double front flip and then a couple somersaults after that. Easy, guys. No sense in beating and banging that hard on the first lap. These aren't five-minute qualifiers. These are ten-minute qualifiers. There is plenty enough time to make up ground the right way and cleanly. Calls are coming out of that corner double. Calls are coming out of that corner double. Good job, guys. Right now the battle going into the quad between Gardner, Beeman, and Tudor and Bolton House. The battle for second in that corner double. Just like Matt said earlier, it is pretty much all doubles. It's a lot of doubles. I don't think I've ever said double so much in my double life. I'm gonna be sleeping tonight saying double. Two and a half down, seven and a half to go. We'll find some battles here in just a moment. Really just trying to watch the track. Keep everybody safe. Carlson left side double coming up the left side double. It's clear. Carlson on the sky double landing, sky double landing clear. Six and a half left to go. It's Sander out front with Bolton House second. Looks like Matt and Doug is the battle for second. I believe that it, it's them going in that corner double now on the left side of the track. Matt Bolton House in the all yellow. If it's that yellow, it's got to be TLR more than likely. And you've got Doug Tudor in the orange, white, and blue. White wheels, black wing right behind him, coming down the front straightaway. That's the battle for second. Last time around, Cody Sander with an almost 10-second lead. So you might as well call the hotel because Cody Sander has checked out.
Five down, five to go, five down, five to go. Halfway, halfway, your leader coming down the straightaway. It's Cody Sandry in the blue and yellow. White wheels, white wing. Coming up on some lap traffic on the back side. Going over the sky, double, and Sander just barely makes it over, but perfect, perfectly makes it over, downsides the landing. Six down, four to go, six down, four to go. This is race number 12, race number 13. Second heat of E-Truckie, you guys are up next. Heads up racing all the time here at the 2020 Blue Ridge Nationals. We are at the Apex Center in Whipple, Virginia. I want to thank everybody at home for tuning in to the mod broadcast. We are currently on race number 12 out of 22. Stick around. We will have fit scale out shortly. Had them out earlier for round number one, and all I can say is it is awesome. Utter mayhem, but it's awesome. Here's your rundown on the track right now. It's Sander out front by a long shot. And you've got Bolton House second, two to third, Holt four, Sizemore five, Hatcher, Gardner, Trotter, Bateman. Hart, Beeman, and Fletcher finish out your top 12 with 2.30 left to go, drivers, 2.30 left to go. While it's still quiet, want to thank our sponsors once again, Beach RC, JQ Racing, Assault RC, Ultimate Racing, Pro Circuit, Clean Freak, and SRS Motorsports. I can't read that far. I can't hear that far either. And now you're laughing at me. I mean, I feel left out. Come up here and let me know in a minute, OK? <laughs> Big shout out to Zach Thompson and Clean Free. Clean Works. Is that what you meant? Clean Freak is the product. Clean Works is the company. Either way, check it out. The stuff works. Okay. Uh, give me a minute, 15 seconds. Minute 15 left to go. Cody Sanders still out front. And got one over in the two over in the dog leg. Caution coming off that right side double. One minute left to go. Everybody's pretty much spread out. No battles on the tracks. Just keep them rolling. Keep them on all fours. Keep them together. Finish the race strong. Also want to thank our local Charlotte businesses, the local Scoop, Queen City Jiu-Jitsu, Queen City Craft and Gourmet, Ameriprise Financial, Also, a big shout out to CNS Auto and the CNS Auto sponsored garage there at the bottom of the driver's stand. Also, a huge thanks to Owens Metal Art. Matt Owens doing a tremendous job on our trophies this year and also our podium for first, second, and third. You can see that over here 
on the left side of the track with five seconds left to go, drivers, five seconds left to go. Your race clock has expired and you cross the line, you will be done. So Matt Bolton House, you're done. Fletcher's done. Beeman's done. Gardner done. Bateman done. When you cross the line, you will be done. One more to finish. And that is the race. All right, race number 12, back out the track to Marshall. Race number 13, hold them in staging. Need my marshals from race number 12. Kind of migrate over to the left side. Race number 13, one lap. We'll go ahead and roll them out. I still need somebody to kind of help me out in the dog leg. Right. My guy right here, I believe that's Doug. Is that Doug right there by the, Doug, can you move over and back to the back section over there by the BTRC banner? Over there where he's at, yep, more to, oh, just go to the beach RC, but yes, sir, you. Yeah, 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 right, there. just go back, the back, that section, that next cone back there, yes, sir. No, to your, to your left. Um, yeah, move right here. I didn't see the guy over there, the beach RC banner. Guys, the running order is Stevens 1, Anderson 2, Norman 3, Hewitt 4, Huffman 5, Spencer 6, Heath 7, Spielock 8, Evancheck 9, Riley 10, and McManus 11. Look, that's fine. Just help me watch this quad. Either one. I think everywhere else is covered. All right, and we have a grid, so here we go. E-Truggy, heat number two. Turn marshals are ready, drivers are ready. Race. Oh, we got several over coming right into the quad, right in the front part. The first set of doubles. It's going to be Norman, Hewitt, Huffman, Evancheck, McManus, Heath, Spielock, Stevens, Riley, 
and Spencer Anderson finish out the top 11 after the first lap. Oh, and it looks like we got one over on the left side. Marshall to the rescue. Oh, caution on the sky double. Justin Norman and John Evichick, the battle for first going into the quad. You've got Hewitt, McManus, Heath, Stevens, Huffman, Spielock, Riley, Spencer, and Anderson. They're all pretty much right there together. Of course, it's only the second lap, but they're trying to make it a competitive race. Paul Rao is second, third, and fourth. making his fourth lap around across the loop and down the straightaway in the battle for second between Ethan McManus and John Evanchick. Now, Ethan McManus, I believe he's been to most of our events here at the Apex Center, and he has been a contender for the podium in e Truggy every single time. He's had great battles, just like some of these other guys that have been with us. I know Derek Karras, he's going to be here tomorrow. He will definitely be a contender for sure. A couple of these guys have the E Truggies absolutely dialed in. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. It's Philip Stevens, Justin Norman, John Evanchuk, and McManus and Heath, the top five. And that battle is going into that corner double, now on the left side double. On that back section now, heading into the 180 that's gonna jump into the dog leg. There's your battle, your battle for the top five, basically. It's going to be, yeah, that first car is actually a lap car, but it's Evanchek in the yellow and blue. And then you've got McManus in the green and checkered. Ashton Hewitt, Chris Heath, and Philip Stevens right behind. Looks like the top two might be getting a little bit of extra breathing room. Five down, five to go. Four twenty left to go. 
This is race number 13, race number 14, Pro Nitro. You guys are up next. Seven down, three to go, seven down, three to go. McManus is able to make his way back to the front. Your leader down the front straight. Just a black and white checker with a little bit of green mixed in. And John Evancheck, Philip Stevens, one and two. Looks like everybody's kind of got a little bit of breathing room. Here's the running orders. McManus, number one. Evan Check, two. Stevens, three. Hewitt, four. Anderson, five. Heath, six. Norman, seven. Spencer, eight. Riley, nine. And Spielock, ten. Eight down, two to go. Just over one minute left to go. Ethan McMahon is still leading the way. Forty-five seconds. Running order pretty much staying the same. Just keep on all, keep them on all fours. Smooth, clean, and easy. Ten seconds. Caution sky double, caution sky double, caution sky double. It's clear. Race clock has expired. When you cross the line, you will be done. Hewitt, you're done. Evanchuk, you're done. Stevens is done. Anderson's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. And that is the race. Race number 13, back out to the track to Marshall. 
Race number 14, hold them in staging. I need more marshals on the back end and on the left hand side. I need somebody at the quad. There was plenty enough drivers in that last race. There was 11 of you. So let's get back out and marshal. Here they come. All right, guys, go ahead and let them loose. Pro Nitro, one lap. Yeah, a little bit. That's Will McGiver. He's really good. Um, starting Lord is going to be Vale 1, Diggs 2, Coick 3, Hamson 4, Lawson 5, Elliott 6, Hollyfield 7, Deming 8, Cruz 9, Dixon 10, Rand 11, Jones 12, Harris 13, and Taylor 14. That's his buddy. Um, okay, I got a straight car just kind of hanging out here in the stand. Okay, here he goes. Got a pit guy coming. Not a problem. Yeah, Cameron. Other side. There you go. All right, and I've got Marshalls. Here we go, Pro Nitro, let's fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Let's clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready, drivers ready, down to quiet, race. And Evan Bell gonna lead him around and pretty much going to start running away with it. Let's see how far he will get. And the rest of the pack got a couple over on that corner double. Forty-five seconds in, nine fifteen left to go. Evan Bale out front, pretty much by himself, coming, launching it. Holy cow! 
Can he clear the whole track on that thing? I mean, just about all the way through stage in Evan Vale, launching it into that mogul right before the straightaway. And your leader is just gone. Scott Dixon in the all blue, yellow wheels, yellow wing, speed double, sky double for Scott. That's your second place car. He's got Wyatt Lawson right behind him, Luke Deming fourth, Josh Hollyfield fifth, Travis Jones sixth, Elliot Kowick, Rand, Taylor Diggs, Hampson Harris, and Cruz finish out your top 14. Following along with uh, fourth and fifth. Second and third down the straightaway right here. Coming around the front straightaway, your second place car, Scott Dixon, the all blue car, now on in front of staging down the front straight. So Evan Bell and Scott Dixon kind of separate them. Then there's Josh Holyfield, Don Elliott, the battle for third, and then the battle for fourth and fifth. So Josh Holyfield, Don Elliott, they're going to be right here on this corner table now on the left side. Let's follow that battle around. I believe we have the mod cam following this battle. This is Josh Hollyfield and Don Elliott, the battle for third. This is race number 14, race number 15, our second heat of Pro Nitro Buggy. You guys are up next. And now it looks like Maybe Don might actually be catching up to Scott Dixon. I got it. Caution in the straight. Caution in the straightaway. Oh, it looks like maybe Scott Dixon it was. Cases it right there in the quad, and that's going to allow Don Elliott to make up some ground. Caution in the, never mind, he got back on all fours. This is your leader, this is your leader. Another battle is Luke Deming, Travis Jones, and Ken Rand, the battle for fifth. There comes Wyatt and Don Elliott. So Wyatt Lawson is the in the blue and orange, jumping out of the quad. And you have Don Elliott in the blue and pink. In the center doubles, coming up on the left side, the battle for second right now. After Scott Dixon had a bobble, that's all it takes on one of these big tracks. Just a slight mistake can lose you a couple spots. It could take you all the way to last place, especially in the pro class. And all of these guys know that. Down the straightaway we go. There's Dixon, there's Jones. Oh, it looks like Lawson has gotten even farther away from Don Elliott and Dixon. And looks like we might have some guys either coming in for fuel. We're at that five minute mark, indeed we do. Whoo, that was a close one. Wyatt Lawson, your second place car. In for a splash and back out. Here comes your leader. Oh, and your leader spins it out on pit road. Cameron Saxton on the gun. Splish, splash, sploosh, and back out.
3.30 left to go. Scott Dixon. Scott Dixon now out front. When Evan Bell came in for fuel, and looks like Evan missed a lap. Cameron, is that true? Did he miss a lap again? He did. What's happening? He's sending it so far into that mogul right there at the loop. He's, he's actually coming up a little bit over it. With your leader, with your leader. With three minutes left to go. Some of these guys almost at the seven minute mark making these tanks last absolutely as long as they can. This is a big wide open track, so they're gonna be using a lot of fuel. Let's go a lap with your leader, Evan Vale, coming on to the center doubles. Let's follow him around. Evan, if you want a chance to show off, let's do it right here. Coming on that backside double, speed double, sky double. A little bit of a whip there in the end, sending it off that off camber now coming into the dog leg coming up on some lap traffic and yeets it way over in that mogul gets it back on all fours down the straightaway goes your leader Evan Vail with the fastest lap of the race and maybe the fastest lap of the evening with a 29-3 so breaking into that 22nd mark in the nitro buggy class with eight down, two to go, eight down, two to go. Here's your running order. It's Bell out front, Elliott second, Lawson third, Hollyfield four, Dixon, Rand, Jones, Deming, Hampson, Taylor, Kowick, Diggs, Harrison, Cruz finish out the top 14. 145 left to go. This is race number 14, race number 15, our second heat of Pro Nitro Buggy. You guys are up next. Forty-five seconds left to go. Thirty seconds. Josh Hollyfield and Don Elliott, the battle for second. Looks like they're gonna go maybe one more lap coming on to the stripe. Oh, and Elliott barely gonna get by. Three, two, race clock has expired. Wyatt Lawson, he didn't get it. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Dixon's done, Rand's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. And Don Elliott might be able to catch Hollyfield coming on that sky double. That's the battle for second. He's hoping Hollyfield makes a mistake. Coming into the dog leg. Looks like Josh is going to get it. Elliott's going to come third. Still a couple more to finish. Marshall's a couple more to finish. And that is the race. Put you up to eight. Okay, thank you. You're 
Race number 14, back out to Marshall. Race number 15, hold them in staging. Styling and profiling. <laughs> Ray. Race 14. Need you guys to start migrating to the left side. We're starting to get a little bit slack. Down. Tell them the program's getting yep. longer. Program, program's getting longer. Appreciate it, guys. He's one or two more on the back section. Race number 15, roll them out. One lap. Running order is going to be Hepler number one, Melton two, Carmody three, Setzer four, Sanders five, McIver six, Cruz seven, Thompson H, Schreffler nine, Cabre ten, Meters eleven, Pace twelve, Neboso thirteen, Smith fourteen, Katuna fifteen. And Nick, I did update your transponder. Uh-huh. Travis Jones, can you go to that? Just move over the other way. Yep. There you go. You're, yeah, you're just blocking that corner for these last couple guys. All right, we're good. Pro Nitro, let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Let's clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready. Drivers ready. Down to quiet. Race. Travis Jones, Travis Jones. Never mind, he got it, never mind. Actually, Travis, come over here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's gonna be DJ Hepler leading the way with David Carmody second, Melton, Smith, Pace, McIver, Sanders, Schaeffler, Meter, Katuna, Cabre, Setzer, Cruz, Navoso, and Thompson.
Two down, eight to go, two down, eight to go. Brandon Melton leading the way. We'll start to find the battle on the track here in just a moment. Your leader down the front straightaway, that's the blue, orange, blue, white, and orange of Brandon Melton through the quad. Jason Smith right behind him, DJ Hepler, and Will McGiver, three and four. That's the battle for third, a pretty close battle between DJ and Will, oh, and Will, the car gets a little bit upset coming off that double. I'm gonna give DJ some breathing room. DJ has Jason Smith in his sights right now. And then David Carmody and Chris Pace, along with Jason Treffler and Joe Meter, I believe coming in the dog leg now, right in front of staging. That's the battle for fifth. And DJ Hepler starting to reel in Jason Smith slowly but surely. While Brandon Melton is just barely able to kind of escape away. Here he comes down the front straight. And there's Jason Smith. So really Brandon now has to start worrying about Jason. Jason's worrying about DJ. DJ still has a rear view mirror full of Will McGiver. Will McGiver has several cars behind him, so right now you're top seven. Right there, neck and neck, bumper to bumper, wing to wing. Caution at the loop, caution at the loop, it's clear. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go, and folks, we have a race on our hands between the top seven, and we're gonna start to see some pit stops. Well, within the next couple of minutes. And in start to come a couple cars. I see guys getting the fuel guns ready. And here comes Melton. Got Tyler on the gun and back out. What a stop. Hey, Tyler, good job. Good stop. So Melton's still leading the way. Oh, now it's Jason Smith. I don't think Jason came in for fuel. There's Hepler. Hepler's gonna stay out. Here comes David. I believe that's everybody that's came in for fuel. Just about. We'll let it play back out. We'll see how far apart everyone is. Now here comes Jason, your leader. Oh, it gets hung up on pit road. Gets a quick splash and back out, and that's going to put him right in the mix with DJ Hepler. So there's the battle for first. Now, I don't, I don't know if DJ's come in for fuel yet, but they are wing to wing on the back section over the speed double. Jason lands on top of DJ right before going over the sky double. Somehow gets enough traction to make it over without casing it, and it's still right there behind him. Right there in front of staging, here they come down the front straightaway. And it's gonna be Hepler into pit. Charlie Lay, I believe, at the pit stop. Oh, and DJ kinda of get crossed up there at pit road, but he gets back on the gas. That's gonna dump DJ right back with D with uh, Will McGiver and Brandon Melton. So I believe Jason Smith going to hold on to the lead after we're done with fuel stops. With just over three minutes left to go, indeed, there goes your leader over the quad now. And your second place card, there comes DJ Will and Jason. 
That's the battle for second. Into the quad, the all blue car, the yellow, white, and blue. And the green and yellow with, with some more blue in it. Coming on the back section now. Over the sky double, airing it out. Caution sky double, got one over the middle of the sky double. It's clear. Here's your rundown, and then we'll follow the battle. The battle coming down the straightaway. It's Smith out front, Hepler second, McGiver, Schreckler in fourth, Melton fifth, Pace sixth. Brandon Melton and Chris Pace now in a battle for the number five spot. That battle in the center double. Basically your top five, almost top six. Anybody in still in contention for the win, David Carmody seven, Cole Cabre in the number eight, Setzer nine, Navoso 10, Katuna 11, Meter 12, Cruz 13, Thompson and Sanders finished out the top 15 with two minutes left to go, drivers, two minutes left to go. Race number 16, race number 16, Nitro Truggy. You guys are up next. One minute left to go. One minute left to battle. The battle coming down the straightaway. There's Hepler, Jason, and McGiver. Two, three, and four coming out of the quad. The blue car, yellow and blue, and orange and white. All of them with white wings. Through the speed double, over the sky double. Oh, and MacGyver almost taking the tumble, but gets it back. The lucky bounce. Oh, it looks like that might have been Hepler, maybe. Or was it Jason? It was Jason with a rollover there in the dog leg. That's going to let Hepler get a good, uh, a good deficit. It's also going to let MacGyver get around with 20 seconds left to go. It looks like Hepler has enough breathing room on MacGyver to be pretty safe. There in first, it looks like Jason either had a bad lap or something happened. Looks like he did on a 40 second lap. And the race clock has expired. Jason Smith, you're done. Brandon Melton's done. Jason Schreffler's done. Saunders is done. You cross the line, you will be done. Carmody done. Still got several to finish. That is a race. Race number 15, back out to Marshall. Race number 16, hold them in staging. All my drivers back out from race number 15.
more of my drivers are spread out on the left side. Race number 16, Nitro Truggy, roll them out one lap. Got one dead sky double, flame out on the sky double. Pit crew be looking at the sky double with the all pink truck. I need some more marshals back here in that sky double. All right, looks like we've got it. Got that one truck to get back there. All right, guys, race number 16, Nitro Truggy. Let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Let's clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn marshals ready, drivers ready, down or quiet, race. Two down, eight to go. Two down, eight to go. It's Rusty McKellick out front. A 19, 10, 08 pace. All these lap times. I haven't been mentioning lap times too much. Been more focused on the track, trying to keep everybody safe, trying to call out cautions. But everybody pretty much kind of hovering around anywhere from a a 30 second lap time on the fast side to about a 33, 34 second time. And that's just been about every class, which means we have a great racetrack. Everybody pretty much running close times. It's made for some great racing, heads up racing all day.
Your leader, Russell McKenna, Ken Rand, second, winners, third, Swisher, fourth, Harmony, fifth, Cruz, sixth, Brown, seven, Sizemore, eight, Smith, nine, Anderson, ten, Costa, eleven, Mullins, twelve, Serrano, thirteen, Newby, fourteen, and Woodyard, fifteen. Caution in the quad, caution in the quad, caution in the quad. It's clear. Got that one flamed out. I believe that might have been your leader. Coming back around. Your leader, Musty McGillick, in the green, orange, yellow wheels, black wing. Coming around out of the quad into that center set of doubles. He had a five second lead over Kevin Winters last time around. Closest battle on the track between Katie Carmody and Brandon Swisher. For the number four spot, we'll find that next time around. So your second place car, Kevin Winters down the straightaway. Then there's Brian Cruz and Katie Carmody. So the battle for second going into the corner double now on the left side. Kevin Winters, the orange and white sky double airs it out. There's Winters, there's Cruz. Looks like Carmody might be having a long lap. Now she came in for fuel. And it looks like Rusty might actually be starting to make either not sure if he came in for fuel or had a bad lap. It looks like we might have a new leader. We do. Kevin Winter is now your leader. Rusty and Brian, the battle, so your battle going into the quad, now coming out. Brian Cruz and Russ, Rusty McKellick, Rusty McKellick in the more orange and green. About to jump into the dog leg, and then you've got Brian Cruz with the green and maybe a little bit of purple. The yellow wheels coming around, staging. Over the mogul and down the front straightaway. That's your battle for second. The two green cars, yellow wheels, black wing, center double, corner double, both flying perfect. They're going to be coming up on lap traffic here soon. Oh, and Rusty got a little slideways coming off that speed double, but manages to keep it on the track and keep a decent line almost completely took out Brian Cruz. It didn't cost him too much, so Brian will go ahead and take that spot. But it looks like... Yeah, he went off the pit lane, they got him back on. That was Brian, so Rusty, I don't think he's come in for a pit stop yet. Rusty coming on the sky double. Everybody else pretty much spread apart. You've got Brandon Swisher, Katie Carmody, the battle for four with 140 left to go, 140 left to go.
And Rusty going to stay out another lap. He might have either come in for fuel already. He did. So that's going to, if he's already came in for fuel, that's going to spread out the field even more. You do have a battle. Katie Carmody, Brandon Swisher, they're coming. I believe that's Katie on the back section. There's your third place car across the line. And there's Katie across the line. There's Brandon. So the battle for fourth coming out of the quad. Katie Carmody in the teal, light green and white. And you got Brandon Swisher in the yellow and white. On the back side of the track, speed double. And then launching it, Katie Carmody. Now both of them sending it into the dog leg in front of staging and down the straightaway. Here comes your battle for fourth. Both cars going to single, double, single. Race clock has expired. Rusty, you're done. Greg, you're done. That battle is going to continue into the dog leg. Hopefully, Katie is going to look like she's going to hold on. Carmody's done. Smith is done. Anderson's done. Swisher's done. When you cross the line, you will be done. Is done, everyone is done. Race 16, back out the track to Marshall. Race 17, hold him in staging. All right, let me get my turn marshals out. Turn marshals back out so I can turn these truggies loose. There you go, KD, get out of the hole. You don't want that spot down yonder? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Katie said, I got it all. I covered both sides. <laughs> <laughs> 
all four lanes. <laughs> all right, guys, roll them out, roll them out. One lap, guys. One lap around. Still don't have Mark Whitlow, Mark Whitlow to check. Mark's, Mark is out there. Yeah, Mark, your truggy is still not counting. No count on Mark still. Nick Katuna. Nick Katuna and Mark, no count. Ryan, you want to check this out before we go? No check on Mark or Nick Katuna. Mark will be number one. Davis, number two. Ryan, number three. Chandler, number four. Darren, number five. Michael Kramer, number six. Anthony, number seven. Nick Katuna, number eight. Devin, number nine. Brandon Hutto, number 10. Steve Woodard, number 11. Liam Santos, number 12. Josh Hollyfield, number 13. Bibi Cruz, number 14. Cody, number 15. Casper, number 16. You good? Mark and, Mark and uh, Nick Katuna. They didn't count until they rolled around the second time. I'm moving okay. down as low as I could. Well, it, count, it, count, it counted the second time. So I need to stay close to the I'll let you know if it don't count the lap or two in this time. I'll, I'll be up here for a while, sorry. All right, guys, fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Down and quiet, race. All right, I'll let everybody get a lap in. I'll call out the order. Got two of them in the center there. That was their guy on the front row, Mark and Liam. To the back. All right, first lap around. Chandler Setzer leading the way. Davis Taylor, number two. Darren, number three. You count them. Both of them, didn't it? Yeah. All right, Chandler leading the way. Davis, number two. Darren, number three. Nick Tuna, number four. Michael Kramer, number five. Ryan, number six. Brandon Hutto, number seven. Bibby Cruz, number eight. Josh Hollyfield, number nine. Devin, number 10. Steve Woodward, number 11. Cody, number 12. Liam, number 13. Anthony, number 14. Mark Whitlow, number 15. The only one I don't have counting is Jasper Saunders in the number 16 spot. No count on Jasper. All right, they got you both laps so far, Mark and Nick Katuna. All right, we are coming up on 140 in, 140 in, 820 to go. This is race number 17 on the track. Your leader making his way up by staging and crossing the loop right now. Chandler with a 32 2. Davis right behind him, 31 3. Nick Katuna behind him, 31 5. Michael Kramer, 32 2. Darren Chains, 31 8. Bibby Cruz down the line, 35 0. Josh Hollyfield, 33 0. Ryan, 33 2. Liam Santos, 33 1. Cody, 32 8. 
Anthony, 33-4. Devin, Devin crossing the line, 37-5. Anthony, 40.7. Brandon Hutto, 39-4. Got one. Let's see how close the race is. First and second, 1.8 apart. Tanner leads the way. Davis in number two. Nick Katuna, 2.7 behind Davis in the number three spot. Your leader coming back by staging, crossing the loop. 31-4. Davis crossing the loop. 31-9. 2.4 the gap. Nick Katuna, 31-8. 2.5 behind your second place guy, Michael Kramer. 2.5 behind your third place guy. Race number 18, have them ready. Chandler is still leading the way. He turns a 31.9 that lap. Davis, 1.9 behind him. Nick Katuna, 3.2 behind your second place guy. Michael Kramer, 1.4 behind your third place guy. Darren Keynes, 5.5 behind your fourth place guy. Josh Hollyfield, 3.1 behind your five, fifth place guy. Chandler still leading the way. Davis in number two. Nick Tuna number three. Michael Kramer number four. Darren Chains number five. Josh Hollyfield up to number six. Bibby Cruz number seven. Ryan number eight. Cody number nine. Liam Santos number ten. Anthony number nine. Number eleven. Devin number twelve. Steve Woodard number thirteen. Mark Whitlow in the number fourteen. It looks like Bron, Bron, Brandon Hutto is out. Coming up on five minutes down, five to go. Five down, five to go. Halfway there. Might start seeing some of these pit stops coming in. Yes, we do. Some of them may make it in, and some of them won't. We got Davis Taylor taking the lead. Chandler, point two. Let's find that race on the track. Back stretch over the big sky. Chandler to the back corner on chase. Chandler back to the lead. Davis. In the number two spot. Picking up with your leader. All right, we have six minutes in. Six minutes in. Four to go. Six in, four to go. Josh Hollyfield up to fifth. Darren Chains, number four. Davis down to number three. Michael Kramer up to number two. Chandler Setzer still leading the way. Chandler, 10.2 out in front. Davis, 0.8 behind Michael Kramer. That's the battle for second. Your leader going over the high speed double into the big sky. 30.7 his last lap. Got one rolled over before the high speed. Be sure to like and uh, share the feed, guys. Taylor, Thank you. 41 9, that must have been his pit stop. Davis back up to second. Josh Hollyfield up to third. Michael Kramer down to number four. Darren Chaney down to number five. Liam, number six. Cody, number seven. Anthony, 
Number eight, Bibby Cruz. Number nine, Steve Woodard. Number 11, 10, Davin. Number 11, Nick Katuna. Number 12, Ryan. Number 13, Mark Whitlow crossing the loop. Number 14, your leader turning the 31.8 that last lap. 8.6 to gap back to number second. Davis Taylor in the number two spot. Josh Hollyfield up to number three. We are at eight minutes, eight minutes down, two to go. Eight down, two to go. Watch it over the big the double up here at the top. Clear. We will be wetting the track after qualifying for tomorrow's main. Chandler up, Josh Hollifield up to number two, 10.7 behind Chandler, giving chase. Hollifield in the four pack, Chandler hitting the high speed double. We are at one minute to go guys, one to go. Chandler, 9.7 out in front of Josh Hollyfield, number two. 4.4 back to Davis in number three. 9.8 back to Michael Kramer in number four. Cody, 3.3 back behind your fourth place guy. Liam, 6.8 behind your fifth place guy. 30 seconds, guys. Your leader down the straightaway, 29.9. His fast lap at the race. Josh Hollyfield through the four pack. He turns a 29.9 also that lap. Clock has expired. When you cross the loop, you will be done. Chandler, you got caught. You're done. Cody, you're done. As you cross the loop, you're done. As you cross the loop, you are done. As you cross the loop, you are done. All right, guys, bring me in, bring me in. Still waiting on Nick Katuna, Bibby Cruz, Stevie, Darren, Mark. Y'all are still hot. Okay, I'm guessing all, all yeah, all of them broke. All right, guys, these barriers, as you're racing, do not move them into another racer. Yeah, they're counting. You're counting. I wonder if that counts. It's like jump up in the well, like in the middle of the race. Unless it started missing. Uh, 14, it counted 14. All right, guys, lay him down, head back out, turn marshal. Lay him down, head back out, turn marshal. 40 plus e buggy coming up. Let me get my turn marshals out. Do not turn them loose. Okay. Um, I'll, 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 I'll be back before 8.30. Right. Who are you running against? 
Well, I got a turn. I got a turn. I got a turn off for somebody to make the turn. All right, turn marshals out. As soon as I get them covered, I'm gonna turn you loose. Need some turn marshals down here at this end. I had 16 racers in that last race. Should be Chandler, Josh, Davis, Michael, Cody, Liam, Davin, Anthony, Nick, Bibby, Stevie, Darren, Mark, Ryan, Brian, Brandon. Chris Smith, your starter box is in pit row. Chris Smith, starter box in pit row. All right, guys, turn them loose. Jason Smith. Jason Smith, starter box in pit row. One lap, guys. One lap around. Still no check on Brandon Shells and Travis Wyatt. Let me know if you're out there. Smacking them down. All right, lineup's gonna be Toby number one, Blake number two, Carl number three, Matt number four, Brandon number five. David, number six, Nick, number seven, Shane, number eight, Stevie, number nine, Sean, number 10, and Travis Wyatt, you out there? I have no count on Travis Wyatt. I don't think he counted last lap, last race neither. Travis Wyatt, is he on the track? No, okay. All right, lineup looks good. Turn marshals ready. Racers on my go in three, two, race. Number, race number 18 on the track. Race number 18 is on the track. Race number 19, have them ready. All right, looks like Matt coming around first lap, leading the way. Toby, number two, Shane, number three, David, number four, Carl, number five. Scene, or Sean, number uh, six, Nick, number seven, Blake, number eight, Stevie, number nine, and no check on Brandon, Shells, or Travis Wyatt. Come on, 115 in, 115 in, 845 to go. Race number 19 up in 10 minutes. All right, Matt still leading the way. Shane Trailer in number two. Sean up to number three. Six point four, six point, six point, six point, six point, six point, six point four between first and second. Now it's close up to point three, point three. Sean takes the lead. I may be saying that name wrong. 
Matt, 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 Matt in the number two spots. Shane Trailer down number three. Toby number four. Carl number five. David number six. Nick Costa number seven. Stevie number eight. Blake number nine. Brandon just showed one lap. I don't know if he had something broken just come out. Broken. Broke. Ryan, Ryan Cuddle to the booth. We've got some issues up here checking the, the mic. Keeps kicking out. Battery may be getting low. All right, Shane Trailer up to number two spot now. 3.9 behind Sean. Matt, Matt number, th Matt number three. Matt in the number three spot, Carl number four, Toby number five, David number six, Stevie number seven, Nick number eight. We are uh, coming up on four minutes in, four minutes in, six to go. All right, guys, sorry for that interruption. I had to change some batteries out in the mic. 5.33 down, 4.24 to go. 4.20 left in this race. Sean leading the way. Shane Trailer in the number two spot. 6.0 is the gap. Carl, number three. Matt, number four. Toby, number five. Stevie, number six. David, number seven. Brandon, number eight. Four minutes to go, guys. Four to go. Race number 19, have them ready. Let's find your leader on the track. He's getting ready to cross the loop. He is the orange, yellow, and white buggy, I believe, there coming through the uh, four pack over the double now, other double into the back corner. Second place car coming through the four pack over the double. We have a gap of 9.5 between first and second. Carl in the number three spot, 5.7 behind your second place guy. Matt in the number four spot, 2.1 behind your third place guy. Toby crossing the line, 38.7. He is 18.2 behind your fourth place. Sean down the line, 30.6. His last lap, Shane, 31.9. Carl, 34.3. Matt, 34-8. Toby, 
38-7, Stevie, 37-6. Your leader in the four pack again. His last lap, 30.5. Second place guy crossing the loop, 13.1 the gap now. His lap of uh, 32.8. Give the leader some breathing room. We are down to two minutes to go, two to go. The leader crossing the line back into the four pack. 33 won that lap. John leading, the, John leading the way, Shane in the number two spot, Carl number three, Matt number four, Toby number five, Stevie number six, David number seven, Brandon number eight, Nick Costa number nine. Coming up on one minute to go, race number 19, have them ready. That will be my second group of 40 plus e-buggy. Leader back in the four pack, 30.4 to that lap. Second place, top corner of the track in front of staging now. So it's Sean number one, Shane number two, Carl number three, Matt number four, Toby number five, Stevie number six, David number seven, Brandon number eight, Nick Costa number nine. Looks like he is out. And I have Blake out and no Travis. 20 seconds. Race number 19, have them ready. Clock has expired. When you cross the loop, you will be done. When you cross the loop, you're done, be done. Sean, you're done. Matt, you're done. Toby, you're done. Uh, Stevie, you're done. Everybody else, as you cross the loop, you will be done. Got one coming in pit road and broke shock. Still waiting on Carl. There he goes. David. One more coming around. I think that car is still hot. All right, that's a race. Did you guys lay him down quickly? Head back out to turn Marshall. Okay. All right, I'm gonna need some help to turn Marshall. Need some help, turn Marshall. Only had 10 guys in that race. 10 guys in that race. I'm gonna need some help, turn Marshall. In. All right, this one should be waiting on my turn, Marshalls. I'm gonna need some help, guys. Only had 10 in that last race. I'm gonna need some help. Turn Marshall. If I can get some guys to step out here and help turn Marshall. As soon as I get the spots covered, I'll turn them loose. Turn Marshall should be Sean, Shane, Carl, Matt, Toby, David, Steve, Brandon, Nick, Blake. Only got 10 guys coming out. I'm gonna need some help. 
A couple of volunteers. Can you start this race till I got them? Do not need a turn marshal right there at the entrance. If uh, one of you two guys right there at the start is straight away, one of the two guys right there at the start is straight away, I need one of y'all down here on the track. Thank you. center. All right, roll them out, guys. One lap around. Lineup's going to be DJ number one, John number two, Rusty number three, Scott number four, Brent number five, Scott number six, Kevin number seven, Tom number eight, Doug number nine, and AJ number ten. Once again, DJ number one, John number two, Rusty number three, Scott number four, Brent number five, Scott number six. Kevin, number seven, Tom, number eight, Doug, number nine, and AJ, number 10. All right, turn marshals ready, racers ready, on my go, in three, two, race. All right, this is race number 19 on the track. Race number 19 is on the track. DJ leading the way. He rolls over in the quad, get him quickly. He's back on his wheels with some help from the third place guy now. Number two coming around. Rusty leading the way. AJ number two. DJ number three. Tom number four. John number five. Doug up to number six. Scott number seven. Brent number eight. Kevin number nine. And Scott Huffman bringing up the rear. Get him, Scott. Turn it on. Time to go. All right, this is race number 19, guys. Race number 20 coming up. DJ back on the cone in the center there by the double doubles. One, two, and three on the back high sky. Down the straightaway they come, one, two, and three. AJ leading the way, Tom number two, Rusty number three. I got point five and point six between first, second, and third. All into the quad. 
think we did have a lead change. I'll know when they come around. All right, there they come down the straightaway. Tom leading the way this time. AJ number two, Rusty number three. John in the number four, DJ up to number five. Kevin number six, Doug number seven, Brent number eight, and Scott number nine. Scott Squain in number nine, Scott Huffman in number 10. We're at three minutes in, seven to go, three in, seven to go. Tom still leading the way. There comes your leader crossing the loop down the straightaway to the quad, the blue, orange, and white. Second and third right there behind them. AJ in the number two, Rusty number three, GJ up to number four, John number five, Kevin number six, Doug number seven. Grant number eight, Scott Swain number nine, and Scott Huffman number 10. Four minutes down, six to go. Four down, six to go. for the high speed and then the high flying jump into the back into the back corner second and third over the high speed looks like first place stretching it out just a little bit down the straightaway 33-0 AJ down the straightaway 34-2 4.0 the gap Rusty down the straightaway 34-7 3.8 behind your second place guy. DJ in the number four spot. 1.6 behind your third place guy now. Coming up on the 5.30 mark. 5.30 in, your leader rolls over into the quad. Six minutes down, four to go. Six down, four to go. DJ up to number two now. As he passes AJ and Rusty. Your leader at the top back corner, DJ over the high flyer. Your leader down the straightaway, 32-7. DJ rolling at the top. Back on his wheels, crossing the loop. 35-4, 10.0 the gap. AJ, point four behind DJ. Rusty, point one behind AJ. John in the number five spot. Kevin, number six, Doug Tudor, number seven, Brent, number eight, Scott Swain, number nine, Scott Huffman, number 10. We're seven minutes in, seven minutes in, three to go. Race number 20, have them ready.
need some help turn marks on this next race. I got 10 guys on the driver's stand. I'm gonna need some help turn marks on the next race. All right, showing Tom out front. DJ, 8.1 that time behind them. AJ, 6.8 behind DJ. Rusty, 1.8 behind AJ. Two minutes to go, guys. Find your leader on, I think DJ just got by your leader. They're both up at the top corner. Um, no, Tom's still in the lead. One minute to go, one minute to go. I have to check them lap times. It looked to me like uh, DJ got in front of Tom. No, here's Tom up here at the top corner. Got a couple of buggies mixed up. So your leader over to Big Sky, second place over to Big Sky. Coming to the loop. 20 seconds to go. They get one more lap. They're both in the quad. Ten seconds to go. AJ, uh, DJ rolls it over, gives him a little breathing room. He's over to Big Sky. DJ over to Big Sky. Clock has expired. AJ, you're done. Scott, you're done. As you cross the loop, you're done. Doug, you're done. As you cross the loop, you are done. Waiting on Rusty, Kevin, and Scott Huffman. Still waiting on Rusty and Scott Huffman. Rusty, you're done. And no Scott Huffman. All right, that's a race. That is a race. Tom finishing first. DJ number two. Rusty number three. AJ number four. John number five. Kevin number six. Doug number seven. Brent number eight. Scott Swain number nine. And Scott Huffman number 10. Thank you, David. Yep. Appreciate it. Test one, two. All right. Thank you, Davey. Davey Talent, everybody, with Mobile Hobbies. Check them out. They're in Shelby, North Carolina. Appreciate Davey helping me out. Give me just a little bit of a break. I'm going to need some volunteer turn marks. I only had 10 in that last one. Turn marshals. Turn marshals. Need some volunteers. Also need as many as I can get from race 19. That's Petrella, Hepler, McKellick, Johnson, Evancheck. Uma, Tudor, Hatcher, Swain, and Huffman. I need some volunteer marshals. What? Okay.
Is somebody at the left side? Scott Swain, can you come in one? Come in one. Come in closer. There you go. All right. Need somebody back there at the Beach RC banner. Race number 20, give me one lap. Race number 20, bring them out. One lap. Let them roll. Let them roll. 40 plus nitro. I need one more marshal. One more marshal. Anybody? Bueller? See if we can get. Yeah, right there, Tyler, if you can help me out. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, complete that one lap. Let's line them up. It's going to be Bringle, number one, Smith, number two, Visco, three, Wyatt, four, Lebo, five, Kane, six, O'Keefe, seven, Santos, eight. Ream, 9, Dixon, 10, Cruz, 11, Hampson, 12, Petrella, 13, and Lay, 14. We're missing the number... Two or three car. Oh no, that's Wyatt. So he's uh he's not here. Who 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 doesn't know where they need to go? Who is this? Who is this right here in the middle of the track? Brown. Brown starts. Is that Kari Brown? Yes, he's, he's in the next heat. If that's Kari's car, he's in the next he's in heat. He's in the next heat. Okay, now it looks like we got a lineup, and I've got Marshalls. All right, guys, race number 20. Let's go ahead and fill him up, fill him up, fill him up. Let's clean him out, clean him out, clean him out. Turn marshals ready, drivers ready, down to quiet, race. Bringle and Smith gonna bring them around. We got several of them over in that center double. It's going to be Scott Dixon leading the way, all blue car, yellow wheels, yellow wing, coming on that back speed double and then launching it on the sky double. And here comes a gaggle of cars behind him, single file, one by one. This is your 40 plus class. Some of the veterans of the sport, there's a couple new guys as well. Most of these guys know how to stay in line, smooth, clean, and easy, not really get a hold of each other because they know at nine times out of 10, if you get together with another car, it's not gonna be good for your time. So it's just better just to avoid the, avoid the wreck altogether. Caution coming off that speed double, it's clear. Two down, eight to go. Two down, eight to go. It is Scott Dixon out front. Charlie Lay, Carl Lebo, Toby Hampson, and Sean Oakey, top five. 
There comes Hampson across the line. There's Charlie and Lebo. So that's the battle for third coming out of the quad. Those two cars, the red and white, and then the all white of Carl Lebo coming into that left side double. On the speed double now, and gonna sky it out over that step up double. Over the rollers, that short shoot, back into the dog leg. Got one over in the dog leg, take it wide. And still take it wide, still take it wide, that's clear. So some of those battles coming into the quad, it's gonna be most of your, your top racers. A Couple of lap traffic cars starting to mingle their way in as everybody starts to get spread out. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. It's Dixon out front, Lay in second, Lebo third. Oh, now it's Oki third, Cruz fourth, Lebo fifth, Smith sixth, Bringles seventh, Hamson nine, Canes 10, Petrella 11, Disco 12, and Santos 13. Got Mike Reen moving up to the number five spot. He went four spots up that last time around. Five down, five to go, five down, five to go. Four thirty left to go. Scott Dixon still leading your way. Charlie Lay second. Sean Oki third. Right now Dixon with about a 15 second lead over the rest of the field, but Charlie Lay with only 2.2 seconds on Sean Oki. Carlos Cruz pretty much by himself. He's about five seconds off of each other. Then Carlos has Carl Lebo and Mike Ream right on his tail. The battle for fourth. And I believe that battle for fourth is going in that speed double over the high flying double. Now coming into the dog leg over that right side double. In front of staging and back down the front straightaway. There's Charlie. There's Carlos. Charlie's three. Carlos is four. And there's Carl. Carl's number five. So that's the battle for third with three. 30 left to go, drivers. Three. 30 left to go. We've got race number 21, 40 plus nitro, heat number two. And then you know what time it is, it's fist scale time.
2.45 left to go. The closest battle, Charlie Lay and Carlos Cruz steal the battle for third. There goes Charlie across the loop, and there's Carlos, and there's Carl. The three-way battle for second now. Charlie Lay is currently in second. He's got a rearview mirror full of Carlos Cruz and Carl Lebo, and they are currently going over that backside double, now over the sky double. And Lebo is right there, waiting for Charlie to make a mistake. Oh, and Charlie does. Oh, but then he collects Carl, the Carl and Charlie, the battle for second. In the quad now, coming back out. Just under two minutes left to go. That battle's gonna continue on the left side double, the all white car of Carl Lebo and then Charlie Lay. He's got white on the sides and a red stripe right the, down the middle of that body. Into the dog leg, singling. Oh, and Charlie trying to send it. The 220 left, one, or I'm sorry, 120 left to go. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. Race clock has expired. Sean O'Keefe, Mike Green, you're done. When you cross the line, you will be done. Charlie Lay, you're done. Tom Petrella, you're done. Carl Levo, you're done. Carlos Cruz, you're done. Scott Dixon, you're done. That is the race. Greg, take that car across the loop and then run back up to staging. All right, I have it fixed. Just take it back up there. Marshall's from that last race. We're slowing down a little bit. I know we're all getting tired. That's okay, I am too. But let's keep it up. We'll all get to bed at a decent hour.
Well, get to bed at a decent hour, and guess what, Charlie Lay? We get to come back tomorrow and do it again. <laughs> 2020 Blue Ridge Nationals coming at you from Whipple, Virginia at the Apex Center. Race number 21, Pro, or I'm sorry, 40 plus Nitro. Roll them out, one lap. All right, guys, bring around and sign them up. It's going to be Johnson, number one, Baker, number two, Hobson, three, High, and four, Alfred, five, Costa, six, Uma, seven, Haley, eight, Brown, nine, Anderson, ten, Elliot, eleven, McKellick, twelve, Whitehead, thirteen, Densford, fourteen, and Smith, fifteen. All right, I have a grid and I have Marshalls. 40 plus Nitro, let's go ahead and fill them up, fill them up, fill them up. Clean them out, clean them out, clean them out, clean them out. Turn Marshalls ready, drivers ready, down to quiet, race. A whole bunch of them upside down coming out of the quad. Good job, Marshalls. Your leader, A.J. Johnson. Kari Brown right behind him. I believe your leader is coming up on that double into the dog leg. A whole bunch of cars behind him. Let these guys kind of get sorted out. They know they're racing heads up, so they're not giving an inch to anybody. Been some rough racing. But oh man, it's been fun. It's been really close. This track making it very competitive. All right, guys, when this race is over, fifth scale, do not start them. You can go ahead and warm them up if you want to. I just need to make a, I need to get all my marshals set before you guys get going. And once you guys get going, we can't hear anything. So once again, when this race is over, we're going to get our marshals set. Then you guys can warm up. So nobody running right when these guys get done. I want to get my marshals set first. Two in. Two minutes down, eight minutes to go. A.J. Johnson leading the way. He's on a 20 lap, 10, 27 pace. Fastest lap of the race goes to Kari Brown. And it looks like Kari missed a lap, so I'm, I'm going to give it back to him. That's going to put him back up to second. Kari, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Right now, our biggest battle is going to be Rusty McKellick and Kevin Uma. The battle for fifth. And then Brent Densford, Nick Costa, and Donnie Baker 
a three-way battle for seventh. And now there's the whole crowd coming right here into the quad. That's Rusty, Kari, Kevin, Blake, Brent, Barry, and Nick. That whole crowd coming into the left side double. Going over the sky double now. That is the battle for second. So Kari, I think that's him coming on the straightaway. Yep, so there's Kari Blake. There's Barry, there's Rusty. Nick, Brent, and Donnie. So Nick, Brent, and Donnie real close to battle for six. And that center double now. And it looks like Brent came in for fuel. So it looks like we're going to start to see some fuel stops. Brent coming in a little bit early, not even halfway. He's going to get that fuel stop out of the way. And here comes more of your field. Four twenty down, five forty to go. Here comes some more of your leaders. I believe that was might have been Rusty, maybe. No, it wasn't. Five down, five to go, five down, five to go. A.J. Johnson still leading the way. A.J. going in the quad. Blake Whitehead second, very high third. Rusty McKellick four, Kari Brown fifth. Costa, Baker, Uma, Anderson, Alford, Smith, Densford, Haley, Hobson, and Elliott finish out with top 15. Battle for third, going into the quad between Blake Whitehead and Kari Brown. Uh, looks like maybe Kari with a mistake. I put him back in the mix with a couple other racers. Six thirty down, three thirty to go. Almost time for fifth scale. Then we will take a short break and roll right into round number three. Two thirty left to go. Everybody pretty much spread out right now. Donnie Baker and Kari Brown. Well, now it's Brent, Kari, and Rusty. The battle for fourth going into the quad. Those three cars. 
Now in that center double, it's the white, yellow, and blue versus the red and orange versus the green and orange. Through the 180, jumping into the dog leg. Three-way battle for fourth. Closest battle on the track. And Brent sails it in front of the staging area, trying to get a little bit of breathing room away from Kari and Rusty. Oh, and then looks like a bottle for Brent. That's going to put him right behind Kari. No, right behind Rusty with 1.30 left to go. Kari trying to get away from them now as far as he can with a minute 20 left to go, a minute 20 left to go. Once again, fifth scale, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna ask you to cut them off or do something or leave them way over there so I can get my marshals set before you guys even start to run. One minute left, one minute left. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Race clock has expired. You cross the line, you will be done. Brent, you're done. Michael done. AJ's done. You cross the line, you will be done. Everybody is done. That is the race. Race number 21, back out to Marshall. Fifth scale, 22, hold them in staging. Here we go, boy. Here we go. For those of you watching at home, here we go. You're in for a treat. I just need all of my drivers from that last race out to Marshall. All of my marshals, where this, where this gentleman is putting on his vest, he can stay right here. I want everybody else on the outside of the track. I want everybody on the outside of the track. Where you're at right here, sir, is okay, because you're not in a danger zone, but right here's fine. I want everybody else kind of on the outside. We had one guy get his feet swept out from under him last heat. I don't want that to happen again. So you guys can stay uh, on the outside of the track. There's not that many cars, so just make sure it is safe. I'm going to be up here helping you as much as I can, if you can hear me. So all my marshals, I want as many of you as I can get, but I want you to stay on the outside of the track. All my marshals on the back section. Marshals looking this way. On the back section, take a big step backwards. That's where I want you guys to stand. Just in case these things were to get sideways in the air or coming up those ramps, I do not want them to be able to even think about getting to where you're standing. All right, looks good. Fiscal, let's go. One lap. Watch. 
shots right there. Okay, David Copeland, number one, Cole Forbes, number two, Josh Garbert, number three, Caleb Klobes, number four, Tim Barth, number five, Robert Klobes, number six, James Cheeks, number seven, Matt Olson, number eight, Adam Soder, number nine, Anthony Calgary, number 10, Michael Klobes, number 11. Hey, my marshal's right here. Donnie Baker, you guys, um, Chase, I want you guys on the outside of the track. I'm not kidding. Here we go. It's 10 minutes, round number two. Fifth scale time, here we go. Turn marshals are ready. Drivers are ready. Race. One over in the quad. Oh, and Matt getting right in the middle of them. Coming on that speed double. And Aaron them out. Oh, and the buggy is going to roll all the way across the track. Did it stay in one piece? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Here comes the short course trucks. Down the straightaway, it's going to be Olsen and Barth through the quad. And Matt Olsen showing us what he can do with that fifth scale. Maybe next time he should run with the eight scale cars. Speed double and then hitting that big kicker double. And Tim Barth, long dart. Oh, and Anthony Calvary, man, flying over the flying double. Two of them coming down the straightaway at number three, 10. Short course truck looks amazing. Oh, we got one dead on that corner double. Right up, hey, Donnie, Donnie. He's a think he's dead in that valley. Watch out, Adam. Coming up on you, Adam. Good job. Two down, eight to go. Two down, eight to go. Matt Olson and Tim Barth, a group of them going through the quad. Seven thirty left to go. <laughs> and skying it out over the sky double. Here goes, oh, and Adam's gonna roll it. So the buggy's not taking the jump this time around. So Matt Olson out front, he has a fast lap of a 33.3. Tim Barber with a 35.8. Anthony Calgary, 37.4. He's in third. Adam Soder, fourth. Cole Forbes, fifth. Caleb Club sixth. Michael Clothes, seven. Robert Clothes, eight. James Cheeks, nine. Three down, seven to go. Three down, seven to go. Watch out, Sky Double. Oh! 
Sky double, caution sky double, caution sky double, caution sky double, caution sky double, clear. Four down, six to go, four down, six to go. Oh, and a whole group of them. Stumbling, fumbling, crawling for every inch. Over that corner double, one of them just barely cased it. I believe that's Anthony coming on that speed double in the blue, white, and gray. Airs it out, sky double. We got one over in the valley of the sky double. We're gonna go a lap with your leader, Matt Olson, the all white car over the center double. Matt, let's see what you got. Whipping it on that left side double. Here he goes, speed double. Airs it out. Oh yeah, baby. 30 pounds of machinery pivoting in the air. You can't get much more than that. Gonna sail it out right there at the staging and down the straightaway goes your leader. The all orange SCT down the straightaway. That's your second place car, Tim Barth. Your third place car, Anthony Calgary. White, blue, and gray. The absolutely bone Scott Losey 5T on that corner double. Now on the left side, catching up to Tim Barth. They are on the same lap. So that's actually a battle for second. Oh, it looks like Anthony's gonna get around him but then gets off the track. Here comes Tim, around that 180, now going, oh, and they get together. It looks like Anthony got together with lap traffic. I think that's one of the clubs. And now trying to catch back up. There goes Tim across the line. Here goes Anthony. The battle for second going into the quad. Anthony's gonna to try to double-double, he does. Trying everything he can to catch Tim Barth. Meanwhile, Matt Olson is out in no man's land by himself coming through the dog leg, now through the front straightaway. Last time by with a 33.8. Fastest lap goes to Matt Olson with a 32.8 in an eight scale truck. All right, so Matt, um, we're gonna start you uh, number 15 in Pro Nitro tomorrow. So you need to get an extra large fuel gun because it is a 30 minute main. Three minutes left to go. Adam Soder, your number fourth place car. That's the yellow or the yellow wheels, red buggy, the only buggy left on the track. Your fourth place car coming into the quad. Your fifth place car, Michael Clobes. We'll see if we can find him on the track. I believe Michael is in the gray, number three. Dale Earnhardt tribute. Two minutes left to go, two minutes left to go. So it's Matt Olsen on a 17, 10, 11 pace. Oh, it looks like Matt may be having to stop. Pull it, pull the starter, crank it, crank it. 
pull the pull start. One fifteen left to go. Forty five seconds. Twenty five seconds. Five seconds. He has a broken wind. Race clock has expired. You cross the line, you will be done. It looks like Tim Barth is dedicated to finish. Give him a little push, Marshall. Michael, you're done. Anthony, you're done. And Dragon, oh. Dragon that left rear. Tim Barr is gonna finish it. And Tim Barr, if you're done, that is the race. All right, there's still one out there running. All right, guys, give me a few minutes. Let me get round three sorted out. I will let you know as soon as it's updated. Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in. Myself with Fist Scale, it was going good. Ended up throttle servo went out on me, so we'll change it out and uh, get into the next one. Super fun out here at uh, Apex Center for the Blue Ridge Nationals, hosted by SRS. And uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, everything like that. We're going to be getting into Q3 here. We have another 22 races, and then we're done for the day. So we'll, uh, we'll end the feed, and we'll restart it for that so we don't burn through data. So much appreciated, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.